up, everybody? Woo! Welcome to another episode of Hyperforce on Hyper RPG. Yeah! Yeah! Hyperforce! Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Sorry we're a little bit late, uh, but we are going to get right into it and just get right into it. So i got a couple quick announcements and I'll get out of your hair. Uh, once again, special thanks to our sponsor of tonight's episode, uh, Power Rangers Legacy Wars. And I got a couple announcements to go along with that. Uh, number one, you should definitely pick up the game, like download it now. You can get it on Amazon, uh, iPhone, and Android. There's over 80 different Rangers, villains, and now even Megazords. And yeah. someday, maybe us. Yeah. Maybe someday. But to add to that, to add to that, uh, and all the crazy that is that, starting this Friday at 3 p.m., Peter's actually going to be playing Legacy Wars with you guys on the channel. So you should yeah. tune in. Yeah, he's going to challenge you guys in the audience. No, it, I played. Ouch. It's so much fun. So, uh, it, it's, it's so hard. hard. It's so hard. It's a very difficult game. And it's a very strategic game, but it's really fun. So tune in and watch me either kick some butts or get my butt kicked. Yeah, you guys should challenge it. Peter, you can do it. So download it now and join the Hyperforce Alliance. That's the other announcement we have. Uh, so the audience members made an alliance for Hyperforce. What? So you should get in there and... Uh, hey, help yeah. each other out. Yeah, you should get in there too. How do I, I join? Will. Yeah. I, actually, oh, wait, you, wait, wait a minute. You, just, you actually just request. Yeah, got it. <laughs> uh, so definitely check that out, guys. At the end of the show tonight, we're going to be giving away an Ultra Box to a lucky individual, so make sure you tune in for the entire show. But if you want to download the game to get ready for Friday and to join the Hyperforce Alliance, just scroll down, click the little badge underneath the video player, and you can get in that way and download it and get ready to challenge Peter on Friday. <laughs> All right, we're back. Ah, love that movie. Remember? Beep. Stop too soon, it hurts still. That's the sound of Jack's heart as it completely stops beating. You guys are surrounding him. You're worried. You fear the worst. Moments ago, our rangers encountered the mysterious dark figure that escaped to 1994 October 31st, Angel Grove. Clearly overpowered, the Alliance leader delivered a devastating blast to Jack. And you guys retreated back to the ship. How will you guys pull through? Your ship is hit again. It's hard to stabilize yourself. Alpha goes, what's going on? I'm, I'm in a state of shock. I don't actually know what's going on. The only person that I've really known for more than these guys is flatlining. So at this current point, I'm just, I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm... Alpha 55, we just got hit. Is there any kind of uh, shield mechanism for the ship? Usually these kind of ships have shields. Ay, 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 oh my goodness. And then Alpha points to one of the displays. There are many displays in this ship and shields depleting 60%. 50%. Ah, another hit. Doom. You feel deep from the belly of the ship. Another rattle. Sparks are flying from the buttons on the consoles, on the screens. This, uh, the lights in the ship are flashing red. And then all of a sudden, it is dark. The lights are off. And then, doom, doom, doom. Battery backup restores some power to the medical bay. Alpha 55, is there anything that we can do? I don't know, Rangers! I start pumping at Jack's chest and just pumping. I come, I come over and start talking to Jack too. Jack, I know you're Jack. still there. There's no way. You said you're a beat cop. You still have tons of donuts to eat. This isn't the end for you. You need to wake up! I smack him a few times just like how Vesper taught me. I'm just <laughs> pumping on his chest. Yeah, you're both morphed, so you both roll 2d6. That's a four. Be with four. me, Dice. Be with me. Woo! Six. Six. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Jack, you're at the edge of consciousness, but you hear Chloe's voice. 
It's very small and distant and far away. Jack! I look like around and see if I can rip together some kind of defibrillator. Uh, awesome. Uh, roll 2d6. I am not morphed. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> roll 1d6. Four. All right, four. So, uh, as you continue to yeah. try to perform CPR, you think maybe he's still got, he's still there, maybe. And then you look around and you find uh, a small silver case and there's a symbol on it. It's in the shape of a heart with an electric bolt. Perfect. I'm just pumping on his chest. Jack, don't make me do this, man. Don't make me do this. I'm pounding on his chest. I'm looking at his face. I'm bracing for it. Marv, stay back. I think I found a defibrillator. So I take the case, right. I open it up. Absolutely. And I find the defibrillator. Right. Defibrillator. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. You're cool. Good thinking, Vesper. So I, I would like to try to start his heart. All right. Four. Oh. As you close in on Jack, Somehow, this is a very intuitive machine, and there are actually instructions oh, to yes. right, connect with his chest and pump the triggers. Yes. So I, I put it, hold it up to his chest, and I pump the trigger once. Suddenly, you feel from the edge of consciousness the feeling of being kicked in the chest like by a mule. <laughs> Jack! I got do, do I do I <laughs> do I have any self determination? Am I immobilized? Can I like move a finger or like say all hey? Of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, the darkness fades, and you see the image of your friends surrounding you. You're getting aware of what is happening. Jack! The ship continues to shake. Jack! I pump, I pump since I, I see that he's like slowly coming to, I'm pumping at his chest. I put a piece of candy corn next to his nose to help him <laughs> sniff out of it, you know? I, Jack! I, I, I'm gonna, uh, the, the smell of the candy corn makes me like try to raise up, but I'm like, oh, 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 oh man. man, look at my hit points. Look at my hit points. I'm doing nothing. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, Guys, we, look, something's going on out there. Whatever it is, we, we have to deal with it. We have to deal with this now. Jack, Jack, are you there? And then Alpha approaches Jack. I, I think you have stabilized Jack Thomas. Yes! yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, good job, we, guys. We need to, somebody needs to fix the ship or at least get it uh, primed to, to take all these hits we're taking. There's Alpha. another sh uh, hit. As you, as you complete your sentence, another hit happens to the ship and everything shakes. I, I, you, uh, what's happening, Rangers? Alpha 55, is there anywhere that we can go inside the ship to be able to give it more power so we can attack back or, or at least protect ourselves? Uh, roll 2d6, or yeah, you're more. Yep. Nine. Nine, okay. Um, you remember in one of your history lessons. Weren't there battle stations on many of the Time Force ships? Guys, I remember from my history lessons that there happen to be some battle stations usually on Time Force ships. Maybe we can find one on this ship, we can use it to attack back while Jack is trying to come too. Right. right. Absolutely, Eddie, that's correct. And then uh, Alpha like reaches towards one of the controls and it displays a map of the ship for you guys. And then there are five sections, like flashing. It seems like there are three seats in the center, uh, center command center. And then there's one right outside the medical bay. And then one on the left side of the ship. If your if you're ship and, the, uh, and you are facing both forward, right outside the living quarters. Alpha um, gestures towards the map. Yes, battle stations. Why didn't I think of that? Eddie, you're so clever. Hurry. I'll uh, take one of those okay. battle stations. Yeah, you guys you guys take the, the three central ones. I'm gonna sit here with Jack really quick just to make sure everything's okay. Then right away after that, I'll go straight to the one next to the medical bay. Oh. Okay. Uh, you sure? Is that okay with you guys? Take the defibrillator. Yeah. Yes, that's I'll, I'll take. Yes. I'll take whatever that is. I'll make sure that Jack is fully stabilized. You guys go ahead and take it. 
and I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Do you need okay. anything from us? You let us know, okay, Mar? Okay. All right. We're going to the battle stations. Okay, let's uh, go. There's three in the command, uh, central command uh, control center, and one outside the medical bay, and one outside the uh, living quarters towards the kitchen. Let's head to the command center. Okay, All three okay. of us All stationed three of there. Sounds great. Marv's gonna take up the spot next to the medical bay. Yeah, and right? Jack will take the living quarters when he comes to, because he will. Will Jack. Will. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, uh, as you guys rush off, Alpha turns to Marv. Marv, I believe your team needs a leader. Don't leave them out there stranded. We need one more to fight. The shade. Look, the, all, all this happened because of me. I just, I just want to make sure that Jack's okay. Jack's only in this situation because I rushed in. I, I just, I have to make sure he's going to be okay. It's not your fault. Uh, Alpha turns. I remember your voice saying that to me. You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's not my fault. Marv, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be okay. I'm stabilized, Jack. So he's kind of like lifted the bed a little bit. He's kind of not straight jacketed, but secured so that if the ship wobbles a little to and fro, uh, he is alive. He is conscious, but he, he does seem a little dazed. Just a little dazed. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna go run up to him, and I'm assuming that he's semi-unconscious, obviously, and I'm just gonna put my hand on his shoulder. Jack, regardless of what happened in the past, I forgive you. Thank you for everything. And I'm gonna go run off and uh, get into my battle station. You going to the command? The, the, no, the one right outside the medical bay. And I'm gonna check in. Hey, is everyone here? Yeah. Yep. Here. Everyone's all accounted for? Yeah. It's time to fire back. Let's do it. Alpha, what weapons do we have? So, when you look in front of you, there's a big touchscreen display. And Ooh. what's interesting okay. is that you can't see the target. All you can kind of see is the effect. It mm. seems like they're, that alliance leader is just, they're not in a ship. They're, they're firing from the ground and you can see like, Big traveling, like almost electricity bolts, like heading towards the ship, and the, the electricity like black and purple. And uh, th the only thing that you can kind of lock onto is your surrounding area. You're in Angel Grove uh, Mountains. Alpha has kind of retreated the ship a little bit to try to get away from the park and the alliance leader. Great job, Alpha. But all the I thank you. I, I didn't know what to do. I thought the mountains would be a safe space. Um, but uh, all you can see is the mountains, and next to the mountains that you can target is the rest of the city of Angel Grove. Mm. Hitting those mountains might not be the best idea. What are we gonna do? Um, what if, are our options? Well, right now, if if they are. Clearly on the ground, they 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 can't be a match for us in, with these cannons, can they? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's not a ship. It's just he's the ship. This being is what's attacking. Alpha fifty five. What weapons do we have ready on the ship? Uh, the shields have been depleted. Only twenty percent remaining. Is, is there I, some sort of a ranger power that we could tap into to, to, to empower the ship? I have an idea. Unfortunately, the ship was designed to take out other ships, not other people on the then ground. Then we're gonna treat him like a ship. Alpha 5, 55. Yes. I'm gonna run to the command center and I'm gonna drive this ship right into the Alliance leader. Ooh, Absolutely. Oh my so uh, roll uh, uh, your 1d6 for me. I would have done the same thing, to be honest. Six. <laughs> Fantastic. You uh, arrive at the center of the uh, control center and they are um, normally, you understand when you look at this hologram, you can choose a physical point to travel to and yes. the ship will go. Yeah. Uh, so uh, roll d6 again. Oh. Four. Four. Uh, so you are able to control where do you want to go I want that. to go right into the leader. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna hit the leader who's on the ground in Angel Grove. Yes. Uh, with, with the ship. With the ship. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll roll d six again. Five. Five. So, uh, 
somehow when you are able, uh, as you try to hone in, you're able to target the lion's leader uh, right away. But then you can see the lion's leader keeps moving yeah. or their attacks uh, keep moving. And remember, they're still like on the ground in Angel Grove. Uh, mm. You hear Alpha's voice, Vesper, what are you doing? Alpha 55, can we take the ship into the air? I, I know I know that our sh shields are depleted, but do we have any fuel left to, to move the ship? Um, uh, sorry about that. Um, so the, the leader has moved from Angel Grove Park. Actually, they're right underneath your ship in the mountains. The ship cannot move. He's just like right underneath him. And when you, uh, Alpha, points towards the uh, navigation system that Vesper is at. And uh, it says, energy sources depleted, thrusters damaged. Alpha, is there any way we can teleport like this whole area into space or somewhere else? That's a fantastic idea. Um, Chloe, that's a great idea. Why don't you check the uh, time travel console? Vesper, I don't know what Alpha just said. Do you want to help me with this? Yes. So I'm going to go over and help her. Right. And this was similar to the console where you push the red button from the last episode, um, right? Okay, yeah. Alpha, uh, move the ship 30 yards forward. Just, it doesn't matter how fast. Wait. Just... Should we? Well, if we move it 30 yards forward, at least we'll have a clearer aim at this thing. Whatever the heck <laughs> the We're right next to the mountains. We don't need to be aiming at him. We're like the mountains can topple down onto Angel City. I think we need yeah. to figure out how to get the heck out of here before we try attacking anything, right? Well, we can't yeah. leave Angel Grove with this. Well, let's take them with us. If we can tell, if there's some way that we can teleport the ship and we're in close and enough range, we might be able to grab him with us. Okay, yeah, take it away. Um, you're at the time travel console. Normally, yes. it says the date, uh, October 31st, uh, 1994, Angel Grove. Um, what do you try to do? It's, it looks like it's about to scroll and it's, it's jammed. Oh, I need some like, first I'm gonna try to hit it okay. with a chop. Just uh, right on the, the broken Roll dial. a d6 for me. One. Ooh. As you uh, try to strike the console, sparks fly as your hand hits the console. And it seems like no matter what you do, either sl remember slide the two levers or any of the uh, controls, they are unresponsive. You're jammed. You get the sense that maybe you're trapped here in Angel Grove, 1994. <sighs> so we, we have to deal with him somehow. Uh, meanwhile, we cut back to Jack. Uh, Alpha is kind of nervously hovering around him, making sure that he's okay and stabilized. Uh, you feel yourself uh, kind of coming to, being a little less confused. Everything's less of a red blur. Uh, I'm going to also just increase your health by a little bit. Maybe you got a little bit of uh, help from the Defibrillator. <laughs> so, would you tell me what my current HP is? Uh, I raised you to 25. Oh, Malika, thanks. <laughs> Do I, may I, may I action? May I, can oh, I move? Oh, yes. I, uh, I sit up in the medical bay. Well, what's going on in the ship? Um. Everything is still flashing red. Uh, and then you overheard Alpha talking to the other rangers. They've moved towards their battle stations, but you can hear they have a little bit of a trouble. The Alliance leader is right underneath the ship. The time travel mechanism is broken. Uh, wait, guys, I just realized we can, why not just put down our loading dock and smash him? That sounds like a great idea to me. Uh, I mean, he was pretty strong. Okay, so, you know what? So I'll ready my weapons and I'll and I'll have my gun forward. If Wait, we... Marv, you're like rushing into things again. This is like super scary. Last time yeah, this I'm happened, right. someone almost died. We need to think about this. Yeah, it right. could be one of us next, and 
We can't afford to bring anyone else back from the dead. What? We can't do much. The ship's defenses are depleted. We we obviously could can't we, get a handle on this. Could guy. we lure him into a more open area? We can't move the ship. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Jack is trying to raise himself from the bed, and Alpha is saying, "Hey, what are you doing?" Well, there's something going on outside, so I, I've got to move. So I, I'm, I'm at a third of my hit points, so right. I, don't, I don't see a lot of tap dancing coming, but sure. I'm going to roll off of the uh, med bay bed and try to look around for some of my kit because it seems like I'm not wearing any of my uh, equipment. Um, do I see, are, are, is my sidearm close by? Uh, roll a d6. Uh, that's a two. Okay, so your sidearm uh, was not left by. Maybe when you were unconscious, the other rangers kind of stabilized you and took anything away that might hurt you. But you, as a time force officer, you know, remember all the awesome weapons and tools that you had in your arsenal. And early on, you found things in the ship. We did find things in the ship. We found we found we found uh, the two mode blasters in the ship, um, it, but but if I, I mean I, I was in possession of that weapon before uh, uh, b before uh, things kind of got a little hazy. Um, uh, uh, boss, can I morph right now? Uh, the chat room says yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hello. Yeah. I'm sorry. I gotta do it. It's morphin' time. Hyperforce, yellow, ready, power up. I am going to rush through the ship to the storage lockers. Do um, I see him running out since I'm next to the med bay? Um, yes, but you're probably too okay. concerned with yeah. like, oh crap, what do I do? I'm yeah. in a battle station, but I can't shoot at things willy nilly. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'll be fine. Is there any way that we can just lower the ship? Like literally just drop the ship? I'll, I'll see what I can do. But Jack, wait, why are you heading Jack? towards the, the back Jack? cargo? Jack? Back Jack. doors. I, I, I'm fine. I'm, I'm up and about. I, uh, I have come to my senses. <laughs> Jack, Jack oh you were just... Oh my gosh, it's good. I'm, it's good to hear your voice, man. So good to hear you, man. What oh. is going on? Look, the, the Alliance leader, he's right under our ship and he's attacking us. We, we, we have no options. We can't lock onto him. We've got no fuel. Our thrusters are broken. And we're afraid if we attack him that it might somehow damage the Angel Grove Mountains and hurt the city. Wait a minute, Vesper. I mean, what do you think about this? What's up with the systems? It's very hard to tell. Nothing is working properly. At this point, I recommend that we just cut the power and just drop the ship. Wait, Vesper. Out of the sky. V yes. Vesper, you should morph. We should Zord up. Oh my gosh. I feel like gosh. that's the only way we're really gonna be able to beat this guy. We're out of resources. Our ship is about to We don't have crash. Zords. We don't? Well, I don't think so. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I just got way too ahead of myself. I think it's the candy corn. Well, I think, I think we should do what you said. I think we should just de reserve what energy we have and just drop the ship on him. Okay, Alpha 55, is there a kill switch for the entire system? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, currently the... The ship is running on battery backup power. What What is your plan? I would like to kill the backup power and drop the ship, hopefully crushing our enemy. And if, and if you do, do you have anything else with more firepower than these guns? Because we fired all five of our guns at them and nothing happened. Listen up, team. You remember, we found those V weapons. I have retrieved them from the cargo hold and I will see you at the top hatch because I got this. All right, let's go join Jack. Wow. So everybody you rushes over this. We to got this. That no. back hatch and Alpha carefully uh, lowers choo, 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 and it opens up. And from that open door, you can see below the ship, it is the Alliance leader and they have both hands outstretched and energy is growing from their hands. Uh, um, almost like a advanced like branching infrastructure of lightning growing more and more and aiming towards a very specific part not at you guys he does see you emerge from the ship but towards the back of the ship and the energy grows more and more 
Jack, are you ready to do this? Boy, am I ever. I Those to... weapons we found assemble into one giant weapon. Whoa. It's called the Vortex Cannon. Holy smokes. Well, I don't know. It, it says Vortex Cannon on it, so I'm assuming that's what it's called. Okay, yeah, well, probably. fair enough. I think yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, makes sense. Right. So. Hey, guys, I need a change. It's morphin time. Hyperforce. Black. Ready. Power up. OK, that's better. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> looking good in black. I mean, you can wear black, but looking good in the black work suit. Thank right. you. Awesome. And just... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, as you guys kind of celebrate the whole team being morphed, yeah, um, together. you see the energy as uh, the Alliance leader looks past you, and this Alliance leader, since I've gotten questions about it, is, is very tall, maybe over seven feet tall, <gasps> with wide, broad shoulders hidden underneath a cloak. Maybe they're wearing some kind of shoulder armor and a, a large dark hood and their face is so recessed back into the hood. All you can see is darkness. And from, uh, you can see hands that are emerging from the robe. They're wrapped in bandages. And uh, if, if you could see close enough, those bandages are covering up just like bloody flesh. Yeah. Man, this guy needs a doctor more than I do. Uh, you can say that again. Zing. Are we locked on? <laughs> we are, my friends. Join me on the Vortex Cannon. It's Vortex okay. Cannon. Vortex, Vortex Cannon. Cannon. Vortex Cannon. Vortex Cannon. Aye, it's called the Vortex Blaster. Vortex, Vortex, Vortex Blaster. Vortex Blaster. It's a Vortex Blaster. Vortex Blaster. Blaster. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have you roll <laughs> the way you roll a Megazord. So add okay. uh, from two or one, two left to right. Two. One. And uh, we're one. gonna we're gonna make it can we make it ultra? Do we have an ultra? We have a super. Yeah. We have a super. We, we have, have one super, super left. Okay. Yes. Right. We might as well use it at this point. Give it a super blast. Let's right. do it. Super Okay. Two, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I, uh, well it's actually it's just one. Okay. So. One. Oh, Sorry. okay, well I gotta I got <laughs> six in <laughs> Six! What? Six, six, six! Yeah, wait a minute. So six, six, 12, 18, 18, 20, <laughs> 23, 23, 22, 25, plus two, 25, 25, Vortex Blaster. Vortex Dude, Blaster. Yeah, 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 yeah. So as you feel the strength of your teamwork and the color, your ranger powers come together, an awesome beam of energy that includes all your ranger colors combined, uh, walks on straight and true onto the Alliance leader and fires. Choo, choo, choo. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> um, all of a sudden, the Alliance leader who was trying to manage this big infrastructure of, blast, uh, of branching energy also releases it before the energy gets hit. Uh, the, the, before your energy hits them. Oh. That's a lot of dice. You just rolled a lot of <laughs> dice. <laughs> I'm gonna get a song It you. just seems like more what you do it, okay? <laughs> dice tower. Um, and so, the, uh, the Alliance leader lets go of their blast of energy. It travels far back and it hits your ship in a very specific, far back, deep part. You recognize it <laughs> as it hits part of the engine. Oh, guys, it hit the engine. And now this Alliance leader just eats your laser beams at oh. the same time. And they stumble, oh, oh, clutching their side. Guys, I, I, we hit him. I think he's hurt. He's hurt. Can yeah. We fire it back up again. And we and he, since he used his energy, it looks like his hands aren't glowing anymore. Yes, it's not. All right, great. <laughs> <laughs> the leader straightens up and almost spits blood to the side. You can't quite tell. He's far away. Eddie, why don't you take uh, this vortex blaster and aim this thing? Let's do it again. Let's do it. Vortex blaster. Vortex, vortex Blaster! Vortex Blaster! We do blaster. No, we don't have anything! Okay, no. Vortex Blaster! <laughs> all right, go ahead. You know the uh, the rule. All right, add them all together. One! Four! 
four, seven, eleven. Ah, uh, can I use any energy to affect this roll? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, we'll make that a seventeen. Ooh. Seventeen vortex blaster. Vortex, vortex blaster. blaster. Come on. So you feel the power of the cannon. Ch blaster, charge up again. And you yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah. And then you feel, and there's a big knockback, and it aims right at the alliance leader. The alliance leader straightens up because I rolled a 19. No! Uh, and steps aside. Uh, and you can hear their voice very loudly, louder than the small figure that is below the ground, below your ship. If you interfere again, you'll die. And then they teleport away. Whoa, man, fist of frustration. <laughs> okay, our uh, on ship. one hand, we, we did it, he's gone. We proved that he's not invincible. But I was yeah. hoping that we would destroy him so we could take his ship because I think ours is in pretty poor shape. <laughs> and Rangers, then, we should as check you say ship. that, as you say that, you feel another rumble. Oh my goodness, some of you almost fall out of the ship. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm closing the hatch now, I'm closing the hatch now. <laughs> yeah, we're going down. And it's, uh, it's closing the ship so you don't fall out. Uh, and you hear, it's from the same spot in the ship, that engine room, far deep inside the belly. God, how are we gonna deal with this? Let me check on the engine room, okay? I'll come help I'll do you. what I can. Okay, great. I don't know what I'm doing. Chloe and Vesper, <laughs> you, you rush as fast as you can. Uh, as you get closer and closer, there is this horrible stench that fills the air. It's the smell of a chemical burn. You recognize this as you have burned some circuits in your lifetime. Yeah. Okay, so oh, man, there's just, some horrible. major damage going on down here. All of a sudden, uh, sprinklers are putting out some of the flames that are in the engine room. What do we do? What do you need me to do? Um, we need to find a toolkit and we need a Alpha 55. Yes! I need you to send me down the diagnostics for this engine. Oh, oh absolutely. Well, what do you see right in front of you? Oh my goodness. There's a, uh, there's fire, which is being put out. Um, there seems to be some uh, chemical burns onto the engine. Is there anything I can do to weld this together? I, oh my goodness, how is, how is the time drive? Um, it's the hyper jump mechanism that allows us to time travel. So I, I look for the hyper jump mechanism. Um, what do I see? Um, unfortunately, all of that whole area of the ship, it's like the heart, the central area of the engine room is melted away and it's just black and bubbly. And then there's also what you recognize as kind of like two spinning turbines and they are completely jammed and the blades of the turbines, they're, they're uh, melted away as well. It oh. looks so wasted. You're surprised that the ship is even just like hovering and cloaked still. Guys? Uh, how much did you like those togs? Uh, not so much, why? <laughs> because I think we're gonna need to get used to this time period. What? You mean we're stuck here? The, the time, the hyperdrive is completely melted away. We might be able to fix it. Um, I'm not sure what kind of technology we can scrap together. This is a very primitive time. Eddie, do you, do you know anything about this technology? Uh... I can help maybe go check a look and see. I go over to Vesper and Chloe. Right, and you push through like the fumes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I found this toolkit uh, and a couple burritos. So I take the toolkit out. <laughs> okay. And uh, I open it. All right, uh, why don't you, cause it's kind of teamwork. Why don't you both roll a, a D6? One, three. <laughs> the toolkit has some useful things, uh, extra like screws and wrenches, hand, to, uh, hand tools, power tools. Um, they would be extremely useful if you had something to work with. If there were two parts able to be stuck together, this toolkit would allow you to do that. 
However, it's just kind of a black, goopy mess that's been charred. Ugh. Can we put some magical dust on the black, goopy mess and make it go back to its original form? I've seen this in the movies. <laughs> I know nothing about magic, oh. but I believe that I believe in you. Well, what am I gonna do, pour my burrito on it? I'm gonna limp my... At this point, I'm gonna go run up to this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna go him on the back as he's limping. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say, this, Jack. Yeah. You old fart, you had me scared to death. Yeah, I, yeah, me, yeah, I was unconscious, but unconsciously, I was really scared also. Are you okay? <sighs> I, I just, Marv, I just wanted to say thanks Love for no, uh, looking out for me and I, you know, I, don't know. I was feeling a little bit woozy there for a while, but I just wanted you to know that I, I, I heard what you said to me. What I said? I didn't say anything. You said you forgive the past and you're gonna give me your steak every Thursday. You're clearly, clearly delusional. Guys, how's everything going over there? Well, there's nothing I can do here. I just accept. Oh. I'm gonna try to activate the cloaking device. Yes. With the help of Chloe. Yes, I've been very helpful down here. Marv, Marv. I also I'm have some <laughs> wrenches um, that you guys can feel free to, to adopt as a pet, seeing as we will need to keep ourselves entertained. Wrenches don't make good pets, but I, I believe that's I beg that's to a differ, but okay. Uh, I'll go over here to you, Vesper. Vesper! Fortunately, if there's one thing that's working, our cloaking advice, uh, device is still enabled. Great. I, I don't know how the Alliance leader was able to, to still see where we were. I, I suppose maybe the Alliance leader was able to trace your ranger teleportation energy sig signals back to the ship. Mm. Oh, what? rangers, I feel so bad. This was my fault. No, no, no. 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 Oh, it's not <laughs> good. This is, it's not your fault at all. If anything, this is mine for rushing in. What? Listen. No. No. It's new for all of us. We just became yeah. rangers like a second ago. And this being is unlike anything that anyone's ever seen. I mean, it went up against the Time Force Rangers, which it also mentioned, if I am correct, that some of them aren't seen anymore on the morphing grid. What does that mean? That means. <sighs> That means no longer. We don't know that. It could just be a malfunction. They could be just. They could have been hiding themselves just to be protected. Right. We if, don't know. If our cloaking tech is cracked, then the Rangers, being the Rangers, might have found a new way to cloak themselves off yes. of the morphing grid. You're right. Ooh, I like that. I like that thought. Stay better. positive. I yeah. hope so. Unfortunately, I can neither confirm nor deny your theories. However, let's remain optimistic. Alpha 55, I, I, I have one question. Yes? Uh, are we able to, to fly the ship? I mean, how, could, are there any automatic repair protocols that, that might help repair this vessel? Because none of us are trained um, in, in enough systems to really pull this off. There's no dry dock. We're, it, we're a thousand years in the past, Alpha. Absolutely. I fear the worst. I'm not even sure if our ship is repairable, given the primitive technology of the time. I suppose one of the best things we could do is assess the full extent of the damage before we come to any rash conclusions. Wait, I just realized, Alpha, you were, you were an android created to assist us on the ship. Can you That's maybe absolutely take a look? right. Why don't you take a look at this engine and tell us what's, what's going on? And I'm going to walk on over to oh. these guys in the engine room. Maybe I can use Alpha 55's body parts. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. We, we need to analyze, <laughs> not to actually put in. You know what, that's there. My mind went there too, but we're not there yet. Now, wait a minute. Understood. What you let me we, know when we're there. What, I will. What if, we, what if we just wait till midnight or two o'clock in the morning, fly the ship to Angel Grove Park and park it submersible style in the lake? Define submersible, oh, underwater. Correct him. That's actually not a bad idea, but That's good. first of all, I, what, why did he let us live? Well, he said not to interfere with him anymore. So maybe he has some 
bigger fish to fry before oh. us. Oh. Wait, if he could track oh, our ranger energies, sure. we should probably demorph. That way, if we do change locations, he won't be able to follow us wherever we go. You're right. Okay, right. it's not morphin' time. All right, powering down. Power down. Power down. I like my suit. It makes me feel hugged. <laughs> well, you can take off your helmet and put a clothes over it. I mean, I'm sure. Or I can hug you. Okay. Yay! <laughs> this worked a lot easier than I thought. Alpha, can you, can you please autopilot the ship to Angel Grove Park and find a spot deep enough in the lake that we can hide the ship uh, at an appropriate time? Uh, what What's the local time now, Alpha? Ah, that is a good question. We are now on the next month of November 1st, what? and it is very early in the morning, around 3 a.m. However, when the thrusters are destroyed, we cannot move our oh, ship. It is not useful to move the ship in either time or space. Everything has been destroyed. Oh my goodness, Rangers, I feel so horrible. Well, Alpha, can we at least cloak the ship? Yes, the ship is cloaked. I think, I predict it will remain safe in Angel Grove. Uh, uh, how are you feeling, Jack? I feel good. I could use a burrito. Mm, my man. Jack, you always bounce back. I was so gonna quick. throw this in the black stuff, but <laughs> for you. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we should lay low and come up with some kind of plan before just heading out and- I don't think we should head out. I, I, I think that I have made the mistake of rushing in. I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna do it again. And we definitely are not gonna go in unprepared next Listen, time. Listen, Marv, you've been through the academy twice even. Mm. And we need to look yeah, at this- sure, we could say that. We need to look at this like the case it is. Twice? Well, <clears throat> Being completely honest, I've only been in it once. It's it's a long story and we could talk about that later. Right now, Alpha, is there any sort of training area that we can utilize at this current time? Maybe some other things about a range of powers that we don't know. Oh, that's a really great idea. However, you're, aren't you still hurt? Look, I don't need to worry about myself right now. I need to train, I need to make myself better so that we can Take this guy on next time we see him. I, I hate feeling this way, feeling useless. Oh, yes, and I have this bit of information, speaking of things that I don't like to say. What's unusual about the wounds on Jack's body is they sort of resemble an electric burn. Like what? he was electrocuted, that's why his heart stopped. However, there's a different type of energy jet damage that I... I can't quite understand. Can I check my body as well? Because I got shot by him as well. I check my body. Do I see the same type of burns? Uh, it's not something you see, but this is something that uh, Alpha. Oh. Alpha, I, I detect a, a mysterious sort of energy. I think it's something that science can't understand. What? Like magic? Magic? Magic. Magic can be real. Well, I mean, I guess. Mark? Technically. This is good news. We're on the way to the magic dust. Oh, yes. Best bird. Jack, how are you feeling? Listen, all magic is simply technology that we don't understand. Yeah. Wait, does that mean they're from... He could be from a time even before us? Or, or after? after us, I mean? Yeah. Or from a different I mean, I've heard of stories entirely? of different rangers possessing magical powers. Yeah, that's a great point that you bring up. The rangers of this time are off planet. I don't even know why he would want to come here to 1994 Angel Grove. That's for sure. In multiple dimensions, inspire more narrative problems than they're worth. <laughs> 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 However, <laughs> time traveling, very interesting. <laughs> so, this, this magic. Should there be traces left in either me or Jack, oh. how do we eradicate it? With wrenches. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, hey, eradicate, hey, eradicate. Hey, hey. Eddie, please. No, we don't want to eradicate you, but if there's something inside you that this being left, we got to make sure that you're okay. Um, well, can you quantify both, it? Can both you check? of you roll a d6. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh, man. Woo! Lightning bolt. Oh. Alpha scanned. The mysterious energy that has affected your body has faded 
slowly away. There's no trace of it left. Ah. But I, I remember there was, there was something very unusual. What was it? I don't know. Wait, guys. It defies logic. Wait, well, when we were back in, at the Time Force Academy, people that we knew were part of this alliance. Maybe this energy is some kind of mind control, but we were able to stop it in time? If yeah. he would have zapped you more, maybe you would have joined his side of the alliance. Sure. That's amazing. I mean, you're probably right. I think, if anything, the fact that we've got these morphers, it's, it's got something to do with our energies. It's probably a way to funnel out the dark energies within us. For us, maybe, but if this being is going out there, who knows who might be in danger of joining him next or going off the grid next. Why yeah. was he here in this time period? We don't even know what he wants. You just know that we can't take him on. Did he lead us here to trap us here? No, it can't be that. He's got to be trying to find the other rangers. Yeah. I think our first thought is the best one. He is a time traveler and maybe more Vesper. Well, he's only a time traveler because he stole one of our ships. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the case. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think so either. Alpha 55. Yes? Were, were you able to scan any kind of information or, or any image or, or of, of this being while he was close to our ship? Uh, yes. They had enormous energy readings similar to the ones left on Jack's body. However, that has faded away. They've moved. They are no longer under the ship. They are no longer around us. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go take a nap. Wait a second. I think I have to say something. What is it, Alpha? Okay. Remember, being a ranger means working together, never using your powers for personal gain. And when you see a red button that says, do not press, please press do it. not press it. Oh, that was an accident. It was the burrito. <laughs> yeah. Your instructor, Jen Scott, the Time Force Pink Ranger entrusted you with great powers. We're sorry, Alpha 55. We're sorry. We're sorry to let you down. Sorry. Chloe, no. Chloe, I, I, I think we need your help to find more appropriate period clothing so that we can leave the ship and try to find out what is happening with this villain. I'm gonna look around the ship to see if I can find any parts I can use that would possibly be able to recreate the hyperdrive. I'm gonna look around as well, but I'm gonna be looking around for a training area. All right. I'm gonna go with Marv to help him train. I'm gonna unpack all the clothes that I picked up along the way from earlier. Picked oh. up? <laughs> Do you think I look good in stripes? I think you look really good. This is so awesome. Yeah, I like These sleeves are a little long, a little weird. I think it's the trend. Your collar popped is perfect. Oh, thanks. It doesn't actually fold down. It's kind of like that all the time. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. Right. Thank you. So, as you guys separate, contemplating what just happened, we, we do a little montage. This is going to be the course of a few days, doing a little time travel <laughs> on the actual show, right? <laughs> Just me with a bunch All of right. <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> You just with a bunch of brands and juggle them? I'm just like, I like come through the halls and like pass it. It's like an everyday thing. With this music. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, first, we cut to Vesper and Eddie. They're together in the belly of the ship, trying to create a plan to piece things back together. Maybe you've started drawing up a diagram, creating a to-do list, a list of things that we need. I have a list here of parts that we may be able to find. Um, they have very primitive automobiles that we might be able to, to break apart and uh, take pieces from their engine and hopefully scrap together something that could at least jump us into the future where we can more readily find a hyperdrive. I think it's very possible. I've even found there's a few zones dedicated to these autos and some of them are advanced parts. All right, well, I think that we, sh as soon as we're ready to leave the ship, that we should go and uh, and go find some of these parts. We, like, 
you, you and me should go like yes. together to get the parts? The Rangers are a team, right? Yeah. Teamwork. All, we're such Ranger, a team. Ranger, yeah. Ranger, Ranger bud. Oh, Ranger bud. All right, yes. gave you guys energy, Ranger buds. Uh, <laughs> and then we cut to Alpha explaining to Marv and Chloe about a pocket dimension where you can create anything. Yes, Marv, Chloe, I don't know why. I mean, so much was going on. I should have trained you guys earlier. We have a very special tool on this ship. It's a pocket dimension. You can create any scenario where you can train and fight, but you will be safe. Don't worry, nothing can hurt you in the pocket dimension. Can we change the damage level, the setting? In case if, if we wanted to feel more realistic for our training purposes, could we change the damage level? Can he just change it? I'm fine. I don't think that is wise. Sometimes okay. we make mistakes. Yeah, I have a question for you though. I can create almost any scenario in this pocket dimension. What kind of scenario would best help you train, Marv? Chloe, maybe something that you could do together. Oh, maybe something with like, I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there. Rainbows and like marshmallow clouds. I don't know, I'm just, I like it's coming to me right now as we were uh, saying it. That's, that's not a bad idea. Maybe, maybe we could have rainbows in the sky while I am fighting this evil demon cloaked creature on the ground. Does that, does that sound good to you? Yeah. Very yeah. well, Rangers. I don't quite understand what you're trying to do, but <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Compromise and then all of a sudden, uh, a big uh, black doorway opens and Alpha gestures. If you go through here, that is the entrance to the pocket dimension. Woo! Great. Alpha, do we have any cooler weapons that we can play with? Oh, like virtual ones? Yeah. You can use the weapons that you have used before. Practice. Can we operate the vector blaster? Absolutely, in this pocket dimension, you must train for all scenarios. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna be on top of the rainbow. You go down and then I'll just like, you know, cover you from the top. Wait, you know what? what? You are probably one of the fastest in the group, one of the quickest witted. How about, <laughs> I mean Stop it some more. <laughs> How about with this training, you get to play on your rainbows while you rain down fire from the sky and you distract this Thing while I take them out. Yes! Does that sound good? Yes! Rainbow so, fire! Right, uh, Alpha just kind of walks by as you guys were discussing and like kind of elbows you into oh. the pocket dimension. Wow! All you right. fall forward and then Game on. first you look up and it's completely dark and then all of, a sudden, all of a sudden you see like laser beams shoot out. It creates a grid, a 3D grid in space and then all of a sudden the 3D grid gets filled with squares. It's loading the scene. A blue background. Clouds. A rainbow. A double rainbow. A triple rainbow. And then. Sorry. Uh, the creature that you described, you see it in front of you. They're off into the distance behind three rainbows. Alpha, make him taller, give him a cloak, and let's do this. And Absolutely, nice Mar. Hat, Alpha, a little cute one. The monster grows taller. Two stories tall? How uh, about whoa, that, Mar? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big All hat. Right, big uh, hat. <laughs> more of a challenge, I guess. You have to be ready for anything. Yes. You're right. Let's do this. I charge in, and uh, I pull out my vortex blaster. I mean, uh, I pull out my uh, blaster. I'm gonna switch it to sword mode so I can practice. I'm gonna start cutting up his feet. And I'm just right. dashing on all the rainbows. Rainbow <laughs> fire to the left, to the right, everywhere. You uh, get a rainbow. You get a rainbow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you uh, both hurl your way to this gigantic uh, creature that is two stories tall with a big dark uh, cloak, uh, it is taken aback by your rainbows. Uh, yes. Good tactic, Chloe! Yeah. Rainbow of fire! Hey, uh, Chloe, I think it's time. You ready? Yeah! It's morphin' time! It's morphin' time! <laughs> we run in more.
All right, and you charge forward. What are you going to do? I want to use my hyper, uh, my hyper blade. Hyper blade blaster. But turn it blade into a blade mode. Or blaster mode. mode. Yeah, blade mode. Blade mode. All right. I'm going to charge it, and I'm going to slice his feet. Roll your two d six. Ooh, seven. All right, we have so many supers. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I've, I'm just going to do that for now because I'm just trying to distract him while. Sure. He... Um. You roll the seven, and as you come in, oh no, it's so easy because it's bigger than you to just like move its foot and it, uh, you miss it. But cool. it's okay, you turn around and you yeah. got a good view of him from the other side now. So oh, you go it's up like to you. this, and you're uh, the, the creature's in the middle. Okay, and I'm on top, and there's all these little rainbows, and I'm just dashing, and I'm doing super big Phoenix burst kick. Push offs on all the rainbows. It is raining down just a rainbow fire that is so intense. It is gonna melt the ground. Why? Watch out! It's rainbow dust. What? <laughs> uh, uh, Alpha is seeing all of this like uh, like God's eye, bird's eye view, and it says, "Oh, Chloe, yes, you can do it." <laughs> <laughs> and then as you uh, do your phoenix burst towards the creature, what's really interesting is uh, roll your two d six. Fun, make it. Ooh, Ooh, 10. 10. Ah, and so you're able to use the power of the rainbows and to jump straight up into the air and then launch yourself off the floor, uh, the forehead of this creature. And then you pull back and you have a great view from above at this tall creature. And you can see Marv is right behind you and he's got a great view. <laughs> Set you up, Marv. Take him down. Okay, I'm gonna switch my hyper blade to blaster mode, and while the the um, while she's doing all that and the the monster's looking at him, at her, I'm gonna aim for her face and I'm gonna do a super super shot at him. All right, uh, remember to add your four. Whoa! I needed that four. Thanks, Thank you. Guys. That's a nine. All right, uh, as you. Even imaginary monsters are stronger than us. <laughs> I got two. Ready for any I challenge. rolled two. Uh, <laughs> Did you see that? No, I'm just I kidding. literally got two on one of them. <laughs> all right. And so, all right, as you aim towards the enemy, you connect just like your friend and partner in crime, Chloe, at the creature. And it actually um, kind of like pixelates and goes like. <laughs> And then uh, Alpha, you can hear, is encouraging you. Oh, Marv, fantastic shot. You're uh, doing much better. <laughs> positive reinforcement, that's, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's my turn. I'm gonna go in for the Eye of the Phoenix and I'm gonna poke this monster in the eye. And remember, Rangers, together you are stronger. <laughs> I mean. Marv, you wanna help me poke his eye? <laughs> Actually, I would love to help you poke his eye. I'll get the left one, you get the right one. Yeah, Should let's we do make it. it like super, super? I think we should make it super, yeah, we'll make it super, super. Super, <laughs> super. Super, super, and uh, what I wanna do is I wanna do kick bounces off of his leg <laughs> and pummel myself up and I wanna like <gasps> twist. Ooh, tornado yeah, twist. Yeah, I'm gonna tornado twist. With my fist, I wanna go through his eye. Oh! I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna eye of the phoenix it right out of his skull. <laughs> yeah, I wanna just, just like through his skull. Just then we're gonna meet at the end and then high we're gonna high five. Yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah. you roll your 2d6 and you roll your 2d6. Don't add them the same. Oh, uh, with the super, that's gonna be a four. Okay. So add them, right? You said? Yeah, but not add them to Marv. Okay. 11. Woo! <laughs> As you look at each other, you're totally in sync, launching yourself through this strange training simulation with rainbows and clouds and all the things. And somehow you, you, you light off sparks when you jump off in the <laughs> air. You're very Power Rangers, like psh, psh. Hmm. You see the big pink energy trail fly through and then you go closer and closer to the eye. And then all of a sudden the uh, monster looks straight at you. And then Marv, who was right up in sync, kind of slowly desyncs, and you both miss the monster. What? Go oh, for some turn on move! Ah, uh, that's okay! I look more cool than it! Marv, when you created this creature, you never told me how you wanted to 
to attack back. No. Uh, make him shoot black lightning bolts at us. Oh my goodness. Hey, it'll be a great chance for us to try to dodge him. This whole Our time he hasn't been trying to attack us? Well, yes, he's just been kind of watching the spectacle. Bring it on, big guy. Very well. Black lightning bolts it is. Do, do, do. And you hear him. I brace myself. Yeah, you hear like Alpha talking to himself like, Okay, do, do, do. I hope this doesn't hurt. Even though it like, it doesn't hurt you. Chloe, run circles around his leg and I'm gonna run the opposite way. Ooh, I love that movie. All right, so the creature decides to target both of you and create a lightning bolt here and a lightning bolt here to hurl them both we're, at We're you. right at his feet and we're making like a figure eight but opposite directions around his feet. Fine. Really fast. Yeah. The uh, targets the infinity pattern between its yeah. feet. So roll the defend. Woo! Woo! Six. Nine. You roll two? Yes. Okay. Uh, I could roll three. I could. <laughs> <laughs> we have that potential. Oh. Okay, but yes, I only got a nine. <laughs> All right, I got 11. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and so the creature looks down at you and stomps and throws the lightning bolts at both of your uh, your direction. I'm going to split the damage. So you take three damage and you take two damage. It's not damage. Don't take it off your HP, but okay. you feel it. Yeah. Uh, uh, you told me black lightning uh, bolts of energy. Uh, that's great. That's great. Uh, that stings, Alpha. Like real life. Wait, you know, your your range of powers, I they, they seem to be uh, coordinated with wind. Yeah. Mine is fire. <gasps> I Maybe. have a whirlwind? Yeah, what if we just make a really big fire tornado under him? Mark, you have the best ideas. Great, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna do the hurricane whirlwind. And I'm going, I'm speeding up, and I'm like doing this thing where I'm just like with my hands out, and it's looking real cool because the rainbows are surrounding me, and it's real majestic like, you know? <laughs> and I'm trying to funnel fire in however way I can. Uh... All right, uh, you roll 2d6, you roll 2d6. Marv's funneling fire. Woo! <gasps> I'm wow. gonna do super fire. Okay. But either way, it's great. Sure. Eight, uh, nine, ten. Very well. And so. And I have 12, just 12. Ooh, um, oh my gosh, you got two lightning bolts? I know. Yeah! What? <laughs> well, so, <laughs> not only do you spin around and then there's like a tornado, a whirlwind that uh, is created. It almost pulls in the other clouds and rainbows into your giant spinning attack. And then it is ignited by Marv's flames and it creates a giant storm that raises and grows <laughs> taller and taller, two stories tall, enveloping the enemy. Everything is a blur. Flames, clouds, rainbows, sparkles. Hey, oh, that's the system. <laughs> Wait, ah! I, I want to grab Vesper and Eddie and come over and watch the the pocket dimension <laughs> monitor like it's like an eight bit uh, overhead. <laughs> 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 We don't know that they're watching. So. <laughs> We're giving each other a high five, like, yeah! yeah! And then, all of a sudden, the only thing you see is like two dark hands from the creature that came from your imagination, kind of, you know, grip onto the air, crumble and fall, lowering from one knee to the other, and then totally like exploding. Ooh. And then the simulation is over it, and all you can see now is blue skies. <laughs> yeah, we did! Yeah. That was... Mark, that was amazing. We gotta do that in real life sometime. We do. Yeah, that was a great move. Why didn't I think of that before? All right, know. points for teamwork. Very yeah. impressive. Very impressive. All right, we cut to a few days later. Chloe, she's got some more burritos. Yeah. She's been experimenting with a different kind of burritos that the uh, Insta Kitchen 3000 can create. And she uh, decides to visit, pay a visit to Jack over in the Ned Bay. Jack, I know we're all a little sick of burritos, but this is my new creation. It's a pancake burrito. It's uh, basically pancake with um, sausage, eggs, 
maple syrup, blueberries, sprinkles, whipped cream, a few brownies, and then I found this really weird thing in the back of the fridge, but I put it in anyways. I think it gives it a little, you know? <laughs> what, what, uh, can you go back one step there? A really weird thing you found in the back of the fridge? The sprinkles? What kind of sprinkles? Rainbow. Ah. Uh, <laughs> hey, let, let me take a look at that for a minute. I mean, try it. It's good. You always test out my burritos. That's a pancake, all right. It's kind of like a... What do you think? Tell me. Be honest. I can go back into the kitchen. It's good? Uh, good. He loves it. As you uh, eat the burrito, maybe it reminds you something, a memory that you would like to share from your past or your future <laughs> from the year 3016. You have a lot of experience with burritos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it, it really, it, rem it reminds me of what my grandma used to make. What? Well, she would make pancakes. Oh. And then after that, I would be hungry again. Mm. And so I would go to the kitchen when she wasn't looking and then just pretty much grab anything I could find and put it in the pancake. <gasps> So it's a, it's a real nostalgic dish for me. You know, I was thinking about you, buddy. It's like we're connected. Really? It's like I knew. Wonderful job. And you know this thing, wonderful find. Uh, I Thanks. try my best. Thank, thank you. <laughs> mm. All right, uh, so we cut to maybe a, a little later on to, uh, the day. You're next to that Insta Kitchen 3000, Chloe. And now Eddie is alongside you and you, you guys are experimenting. What kind of things can this machine create? So far, it seems like it's a little better at creating healthier food and not so good at creating junk food, like the kind you found on Halloween day. Eddie, how's my burger coming along? Uh, do you like burgers without meat? What? What kind of a question is that? I uh, a question that apparently this machine keeps answering. Eddie, we, I've learned a way to hack this system because obviously I don't want kale in my burrito ever. Like, no it. kale! I know, I, I got it! I don't even know what kale is! Hey, what? Eddie, I gotta talk to you! Why is everyone yelling? We're trying to make something here! No one respects me. I just. Give me I, a burrito, I, Meg. Give I me run in really kitchen. fast Seriously? and I have a present in my hand. Can oh. I talk to you in private really fast? Uh, sure, okay. sure. You guys are being really weird. I'm no. not gonna keep working on my burrito. I come out to the thing, so, so this burger thing, how does this work? What's, what's going on? They're being really weird. So uh, we, uh, we leave uh, them as they discuss the culinary abilities of the Insta Kitchen 3000. Insta and, Kitchen 3000. Uh, Eddie and Vesper are off to the side. So Vesper, where are you taking Eddie? I'm taking him uh, to the living quarters. So, uh, you have a shared common area? Shared to the common area. Yeah, yeah that's a good spot. Uh, so, these past few days, um, I feel like we really got to know each other. Uh, you know, before all this happened, I never really had any friends. I, I felt like engines are much more easier to understand. And, and so I thought, if I, if I don't understand people, then I'll just train as hard as I can to one day become the Black Ranger because maybe that'll be easier than being Vesper. Oh, Vesper. And Look. so, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. But now that I am the Black Ranger, I feel like, like now it's time that I really need to get to know myself and, and working with you on the diagnostics for the new engine and on these plans for our new weapons, I just feel like I'm really grateful. Oh, well, no problem. I mean, it's good to help out. I mean, I'm usually like, reading about all these different things, but never been able to interact. So it's been great to interact with you. And I'm sure that we will have much more time together since we're surrounded in this time period. I got you this present. Cool. I love presents. You may open it. It is wrapped with uh, that thing. That Eddie, this thing's malfunctioning. Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a wrench and I painted it to look like you. And on the back, it says Ranger Buds. Oh, that's so cute. Eddie, help, I think it's combusting. Give me a Eddie is on fire. Where's that smoke coming from? I don't know, I tried to put meat in it. I don't know how to do the whirlwind thing, I'm gonna spin. You can use the wrench to help them maybe. Yeah, I'll use the wrench to help them. And you made this, cause we're buds. Ranger Buds, right? for, for life. Awesome. Well, Vesper, you're doing great. And just so you know, humans are like engines as well. 
Sometimes we work properly. Sometimes we sputter out of control. Sometimes we need extra fuel. <laughs> they need a lot of fuel in there. There's sprinkles everywhere. <laughs> oh my God, there's sprinkles. It's in my eye, Eddie. So <laughs> just think of us sometimes as engines and just know that when you work with us properly, we'll be able to work together just like the machine. Any time now, Eddie! I'll keep that in mind. You should help your friends. I'm gonna go. They really need me right now, but okay. thanks for the rich. Sure. Oh, I'm ready to rich. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm coming. What are you doing? Everywhere. Oh my God, I tried right. to put snake in Energy there. Energy points for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, um, I'm gonna find every broom I can in the ship and come in and, and, and hand them all to Eddie. Oh yeah, so uh, you uh, <laughs> actually roll a d6. That's a lightning bolt. That's Ooh. how many brooms you find. Yeah! <laughs> okay, as you come in, I'm like, be careful. <laughs> there is nacho cheese everywhere. I'm picking out the meat and eating and trying to clean everything and else. And also there are sprinkles stuck to the nacho oh. cheese Listen, everywhere. Listen, you guys, here are brooms. Here, yeah. one, two, Wait. three, four. I'll keep one and we'll keep the sixth one in the locker. This stuff still tastes good. Don't ruin it. As I'm oh, making a snow angel in the night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're uh, cut away. They're all laughing, having a good time, <laughs> playing with their nacho cheese and their sprinkles. Uh, we cut to another co a, a quiet conversation. Um, maybe Chloe and Eddie, they, they start talking about history and how interesting it is that we can time travel. Maybe the repercussions of changing history, Eddie and Chloe. Oh. Chloe. You ever Eddie. wonder? <laughs> so, you ever wonder, like, if we're like, I don't know, messing up the entire time-space continuum? I mean, yeah, I feel like we probably are, but not in a huge sense. Because oh. what we're doing is good. We're fixing things from bad people who are trying to really, really mess it up. We're kind of just like, you know when you write on a piece of paper with a pencil and you go in a race and you can still kind of see it, but it's faint? Mm -hmm. Really, that's what we are. You know, just a little faint. And then you end up writing something that's better than the thing you see before that covers it. Most of the time, most of the time. So, I guess in a weird way, we may be changing things, but we're not maybe causing an entire disaster. I mean, if we weren't here to change it, then who else would, right? We're Good. saving it. Good point. So, couldn't help but notice you in the laser light show training session that you and Marv had earlier. That yeah. was that was crazy. It seems like you guys are becoming really good buddies. Uh, yeah, I like his fighting style. We can really just like, you know, when we're in the zone, we can bounce off of each other. It feels good. Yeah, we, we do that sometimes. We have this whole like bro mind thing. Yeah, I think it's different though. I think ours was a little bit more on the same level, you know? I mean, I guess. Yeah, because, yeah, just different, but that's cute that you guys are pros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, just, you know, if there's anything you ever want to know about Marv, I'm his best friend. I know everything there is to know about him. Okay. Like, maybe what he wants for his birthday or something? Because if it's any other question, I'll just ask him myself. Oh, okay. Well, he wants a scooter for his birthday, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, I have three. I mean, oh. <laughs> I, I can, I'm gonna, I can make one of those. Oh, okay. Well, I guess, guess you got it all covered then. <laughs> I usually do. I'm pretty on top of it. Did you want a burrito? Sure, I'll take a burrito. I call this one my baklava burrito. Baklava burrito? <laughs> Just eat it. Okay. Hmm. Pretty good. I know. I'm, it's like I'm a ranger. I'm a chef. I'm like really good at things. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> and you got that stuff in the back of the fridge in this. Yes. Isn't that stuff really good? It's so good. Why is no one touching that? I don't know. It's like a secret ingredient. I know. Eddie, I think I messed up the machine again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Little Eddie Rich, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jack stirs in his quarters. <laughs> I'm sweeping, I'm sweeping. Oh. I'm sweeping, I'm sweeping. Although something- I'm coming, Eddie! <laughs> something's bothering me. Sure, what is I mean, bothering you? What's bothering me is, is this case, this situation with the Alliance and with this uh, crazy 
hooded character. So, so I, 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 I'm gonna pull down a whiteboard on, on one side of the, of the main control hub of the ship and, and, I, and I'm gonna start making diagrams of, of the Dean and, and the Alliance and, and the events that happened at the Academy as well as um, the jump to Angel Grove through time as well as the... Right, the, and then you have like strings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use the sprinkles and I'm yes. going to <laughs> start to, to, I'm just gonna lick the cord and then just sprinkle on Ooh. it so the, so the connecting points are really vivid. But I mean, he, but here's my problem, my friends. Hey, hey, my friends. Huh? Hey, what? Hey. Something is wrong with this picture. Why would this character make us come to this time? Why this time? Unless it's a trap. As Ooh. soon as you say it's a trap, uh, uh, and then uh, Alpha comes in on your somehow through your heads uh, through the little hearing piece there. Uh, time anomaly, time anomaly, yeah, 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 yeah. Rangers report to the Central Command Center, and now it is time for a break. What? Oh, whoa, whoa, the cliff If you're just joining us, some very interesting stuff happened. Jack came back to life at the beginning of this episode Zombie through the Jack. power Jackie of your back. friends. Yes. Yay. However, we're in a kind of tough situation. Our ship, the time traveling doesn't work. The just traveling from one point to another doesn't work. And this jerk, this mysterious Dark Alliance leader has disappeared. Why are they here? The Rangers of 1994 Angel Grove are off planet. What is going on? Meanwhile, you guys are getting to know each other a little better and learning about some of the fun features of the ship, like the training that you can do in the pocket dimension and the Insta Kitchen food maker in the living quarters. Love that thing. So when we just left, you were connecting the dots with the sprinkles and then Alpha said in your ears, time anomaly, time anomaly, ay, 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 rangers, meet me at the central uh, control center of the ship. I rush there. Let's go. We go. Let's go. All right. As you all show up, uh, Alpha is doing the like worried dance. So like hands up and like going around in the circles. What do I do? Rangers, I, I don't want to anything had to happen to you again. I, I don't know if you're ready. I mean, that training simulation was very unique, but my scanners <laughs> have detected that someone in Angel Grove 1994 disappears from history. What? Oh. Wait a minute, listen. We're the time force. We see anomalies all the time. What is it, mutants? How can we track this thing? Alpha, can you get a fix on it? And who disappeared? Absolutely. And then Alpha like waddles over in his like worried waddle to the central command. And this is where a hologram appears. It's the figure of a woman. Her name is Scorpina. And she does a little like rotation view and she looks sadistic and ruthless and menacing in the hologram. She's wearing uh, yellow tights and interesting gold armor that wraps around her body and her head. She has a, a red leotard and you maybe remember her from, from your lesson. So she's oh, quite attractive. That's how she wants to get you. What? I've learned about this, 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 this being before. Her name is Scorpina. 
She seems human now, but if she ever she's grows, a mutant? yeah, she's like when she grows, it's a completely different form. Well, not all mutants are bad. We can't discriminate. This one's bad. This one's bad. <laughs> she disappeared. Well, yes, that's what I detect. What's interesting is, as you know, Eddie. Scorpina is one of Rita Repulsa's most ruthless and powerful minions. I don't know where she went. However, history has been altered and she has completely disappeared from time. Rita Repulsa? Rita, Rita Repulsa is one of the biggest villains, villains in the universe, universe at this time. time. Oh, I think I cosplayed as her once. <laughs> well, here's what's weird though. I thought that this being might be going after the Rangers, but why is one of the villains disappeared? Unless she joined the Alliance. Wait, 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 Alpha. What what effect does it have on the future? What is what is this time anomaly? What is it created in our present time? Unfortunately, time has just changed, and Scorpina has just been removed from history. The effects have not yet traveled through history and changed like, like everything yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, so if she's bad, then isn't it good that she's gone? Well, no, 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 you see, okay. Time is kind of like cement. So it takes a while for it to lay over and set, but it, once it does, it may alter the course of history as in we might not exist. This is a bad eraser. It's a bad eraser. I like his well stomach. explained, that's right, Rangers. <laughs> we must try very hard not to alter the current Trajectory of time. Okay. Alpha 55. It was, is our mission. Alpha 55, is there any information about where Scorpino was before she disappeared. disappeared? That's a good question. It seems there may be a few possible locations she was more likely to have been. Angel Grove Park. We're not the too, beach we're not far from near that Angel all. Grove. Yeah. And also the library, it seems that she enjoys reading and borrowing books from there. Vesper, is that device that you created still functioning? It is. What well, device? Yeah. My. His, her, her. The future, time jump. Yeah, her time jump. It lets oh. us see 20 seconds into the future, but I don't see how that would help us right now. How? Hmm. I, mean, I don't know. I'll Maybe if we jump into the future, I might realize if we found an answer. Yeah, that's that's actually, true. That is actually quite no, no, smart. Okay, yeah. I got nothing. Well, can we go to all those places and see if we can track or trace any energy? Absolutely. That's a fantastic idea. Now remember, even though she looks just as human as all of you, she is not. She is a vile monster and she is so powerful. No doubt she will have issues with you as Power Rangers. Wait, she hates them. If she if she's disappeared off the time, I don't think we're worried about her. I think it, we're more worried exactly. about this alliance leader. Right, right. Should we run into him at any of this area if, if she's erased from time? Unless, like Vesper says, she's left to join the alliance and may return. Huh. We just better be very, very careful. Okay. Well, I mean, we've, we've all been training. I mean, we've all had different times in, in the yeah. training area. Some so. of us train more than others, but yeah, we've all, we've all trained. Yeah. So, yeah, we trained a lot. <laughs> yeah, you did. Guys, <laughs> I, do did. Have, I do have the time skip device, but I've also been working on some things that might help us out even more than that at this time. That's no? what I'm talking about. Please, Vesper, you what have you been working on? I've created weapons for each and every one of us using mm -hmm. materials and only just using a bit of the metal around uh, Alpha 55's ankles as Oh requested. my goodness! I was wondering what you were doing when I was recharging my batteries. Uh, we'll, we'll get that turned out. It suddenly out. looks like uh, I'm not wearing socks. That's <laughs> pretty easy. It's completely functional still, I guarantee it. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I mean, in, in that case, it's I guess it's not that thing. bad of fine. a... A sacrifice I'm willing to make to help the rangers. Aw, Alpha. Okay, well, thank you. That's, sure, that's amazing. thanks. Uh, what, I'd love to see these weapons. So follow me. I have them all uh, tucked away over here in this closet in the common oh. area. Oh, I love that closet. Okay. Amy. I follow her. <laughs> And as you uh, unveil, all right, ta-da! What are they? So look at the uh, cards <laughs> right in front of you. Whoa! Oh, I'm allowed what to flip these they? over now. <laughs> what? Whoa! Whoa. This? How did you? I was waiting for this to be like duct tape and look real jank, and then I'd have to be like, oh, thanks, Vesper, but this is really amazing. Wow. Thank you. I mean, you even made it in my favorite color. Well, I see why, but this uh, is great. I had some help. 
It was Eddie. He helped me. <gasps> What can I say? <laughs> Surprise again! Eddie. Oh, Best man, Eddie, you these know are me too awesome. well. Thank you. I have a Hyperion Scythe and then a Hyperion Bow. This I, is crazy. This is so cool. Alpha notices uh, all of you and the new weapons. Oh my goodness, Vesper Eddie, you're so talented. What a feat of, uh, with a feat of engineering that has been just accomplished. And I see all your weapons have two modes. Yeah, this looks like this could connect like, whoa, like this? What does this do? So... <gasps> it's a gun! <laughs> it's a big gun! <laughs> this is so cool, Eddie! Hey, you know... Vesper, this is amazing! I know, thank you. This is great. How do I put mine together? Oh, <laughs> uh, here, let me put this down. It looks like if you just pull Dude, this this way, uh -huh. okay. it turns into that, and it's a sight. He's, he's more explaining. Yeah, no. seriously. Well, it's, it's great. That's Can I so shoot cool. something out for right now? <laughs> uh, our, it seems that there's also a bow mode. Can I shoot something with the bow mode right now? <laughs> uh, don't you remember, Rangers? Why would you want to destroy your own ship? Uh, uh, okay, wait, 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 guys, guys, this is real. We have a mission. What are we? I mean, this is amazing. Thank you. This is sure. great. But we're going to need to use this on whatever is coming our way. No matter how much we practice, we haven't got any more firepower than we have now. You've increased our firepower by tenfold. Yeah, yeah. we got some amazing weapons. Thanks, And guys. I know that we all know the weapons, but we should just, you know, show them off. Just to be like, these are the weapons that we have, each of us. <laughs> well, hey, Eddie. Take a look at this thing. You think it's like a regular pony keg, but no, no it's not. This is one of the eight slipstream deflectors that are present in every time ship. It's essentially a really dense cylinder. And nice. with this add-on attachment, it becomes a battle axe. Nice. And clearly, if I take the actuator off and put it in the end, it becomes the Creus Cannon. Ah, uh, yes. It is very much like the axe that Vesper is holding over there. Hmm. Check oh. it out. It has three blades, just like a Cerberus. Whoa. Oh, uh, but Jack, I think people of this time call axes that are blunt like that hammers. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a very blunt battle axe. Very blunt. Is this sight like the Grim Reaper thing? You mean a hammer. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I got a hammer. You have a hammer. bazooka hammer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 I got a hammer. And everything's cool. It's a hammer. That's awesome. But I've, it's big. It's a big hammer. I've got this really big gun that, what does it shoot? It shoots. It shoots. <laughs> 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 it shoots. Is it true rainbow it shoots vesper? flames. Oh, it flames. It shoots flames. Oh, that's amazing. Well, and it also turns into some uh, really cool claws. What? That's nice. super cute. Hey. What? Maybe we could do that thing where we, remember how we failed the first oh, time? Oh, yeah, 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 through the eye? Yeah, through the eye. Oh, Maybe this God. time I won't fail. No, I don't know, I those things look that. dangerous. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Say hello to my Oceanus Trident. Oh, whoa. the Oceanus Trident. The Oceanus Trident. <laughs> <laughs> it's Oceanus. What I meant. <laughs> Oceanus is what I named it. <laughs> Weird. Hey, we can name these things? Oh, well, I chose to. But it's really cool. But check this out. Flip off to the side. I can take the two pointy ends of the trident, pop them off. Oceanus blade. What? That was awesome. That's Rangers, how. you are certainly more fearsome with your weapons. However, remember the mission. And Scorpina will hate Rangers. And you're clearly ranger technology might i suggest that you keep these weapons hidden you can keep them away and many other useful tools inside our um, morpher okay yeah great the yeah these things are dangerous we want to make sure that we don't oh. inadvertently injure anyone with these weapons we have to be very responsible absolutely yes. before yeah. before i put this away i want to show you guys something cool so now it's a three-headed blade uh -huh. and if i just shut the blade and pull in, push up the handle. It is now a Giant. disc that I can oh. use as a shield. And also I can throw it at things. That's amazing. Actually, this is 
these weapons are really, really well thought out, guys. You guys well, did a great job. I mean, thank you. I I all owe it to one person, Chloe. Yes, your burritos inspired you. <laughs> they really oh, inspired the me. The creation. Yes, yes. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. And I owe it Got all you, to bro. Alpha's ankles. <laughs> they were quite helpful. <laughs> they grand sacrifice, Alpha. Anytime, Rangers. Anytime. Now, okay, Alpha 55. Oh, sorry. Speaking of time, we're running out of time. Right, right, right. We're right, right. We should go. Ship. We should go. Oh, I was getting to that. Alpha 55, could you teleport us to uh, a very inconspicuous location by these areas? Uh, which one do you guys want to check out first? Let's, let's check out the, the park. The park. Well, Wait, she it. likes to on, read. On the yeah. count of three, we say what we're all thinking because I know we're in sync. Ready? Okay. One, one two. two. Three. Library! <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we have to work on our sync a little bit more, but that's, that's, that's I mean, uh, we're more in sync now that we've got these weapons, but, so we're, I think we should head to the library first. Yes. Very Just, well, I will import the coordinates to the, oh my goodness, no, the ship cannot move, but I can teleport you guys to thanks, the Alpha library. 55. And Appreciate remember, it. you must act quickly the Rangers of 1994 Angel Grove will be back soon, and they must, you must not disrupt time and try to alter history as very little as possible. This, I must make very clear, Rangers, you are, remember, members of the Time Force now. Exactly. Where the were the other the... Rangers on vacation or something? No, they're, uh, they're, in, they're out, off planet. off planet right now. But we, yeah, we want to be careful because we never want to change the grouping of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. True, I love those guys. Wait, so if they're off planet, would they be alien rays? <gasps> wow. What well, year anyways, is it? We'll talk about this later. Let's <laughs> just go <laughs> well. I will import your coordinates. <laughs> oh my goodness, I almost forgot Eddie. Ah. Uh, it is 1994. What would be some suitable clothing for these other rangers? Why are you asking Eddie? I know this stuff. Oh, very well. I <laughs> saw Eddie enjoying some media of the age. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes. Backward hats for everybody. Backward hats, I like it. Do we all wear overalls? And overalls. But Sweet. take the one up. one up. Yeah. I'm gonna crisscross mine. I yeah. know. <laughs> all right. Yay, yeah, Chloe. Yay. You guys feel from the bottom of your feet to the tip of your toe, your nose, your head, ah, the whole body. <laughs> and then you all show up with backward hats Ooh. and then overalls right outside Angel Grove Park. And then suddenly uh, both of your overalls are like uh, clipped in and then at the same time they all go, Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Wait, Wait this is cool. great, but don't you think that we're probably gonna stand out a bit more if we all look exactly the same? Trust we all look me. like best friends. Trust me, the 90s, everyone dresses exactly the same. Yeah. It's a big thing. I'll and then Alpha, more. as a small detail, I at least added your ranger color. And then you were wearing like a pink shirt underneath your overalls and you're wearing like a blue shirt, a yellow shirt underneath your overalls. But you all have the right like overall thing like thrown over your shoulder. Oh my gosh, that's... Guys, I, when we get home, we should make a video of this. I don't know how to Yeah, it's like Belle Bib de Beau. <laughs> I love it. Okay. All right, to the library? To the library. To the library. As you uh, approach the library, uh, people are going in and out, students, uh, civilians. Um, it looks like maybe it's right after school, maybe uh, oh. 5 p.m. in an afternoon on a weekday, Thursday, or something like that. And uh, people are uh, wearing backpacks, there are a few people who are hanging outside the bench. Other people are dropping off their books and running away. Very, very uh, ordinary library on the Wait, outside. As how, how can we tell who, who this character is? Scar Scarpina? Scorpina. Scorpina. Scorpina, whatever she is. Uh, how can we tell if any of these guys aren't her? The Alpha 55, can you help us track this Scorpina? Ah, I think you may be close. This may help you. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And then it, out of your morpher, there is like a little hologram version that he showed you uh, from the ship earlier. And, and she's uh, putting her hands on her waist and scowling. Huh. Now that's her actual form, but be careful. I remember in some of my studies that sometimes she can cloak herself as other people in a way to lure you into a trap, oh. usually with flirtatious ways. <laughs> I would never fall for that. Okay. <laughs> Just right. letting you know. Right. Um... Well, okay, let's let's head into the library. Uh, as you head into the library, suddenly 
Everything is very quiet. And remember, you guys are from the year 3016. This is kind of cool, right? Uh, you haven't seen books like this before. All you've seen is holograms of books with actual paper made from trees. And then uh, there are actually uh, a few computer consoles, but they have huge displays. So the displays uh, is small, but uh, they have huge kind of boxes behind them. Wow. This All technology this. is extremely primitive. Yeah. Yeah. It smells weird. It's so quiet. It's a little bit eerie. These computers, Do you here? these computers look like trash cans. But they, they actually contain cans. a lot of information. Oh. oh. Well, not as much as we have in a, in, a, in a smaller pace, but you know, it's got a lot of information for what it is at the time. I hear that they have a game on there where you travel in a wagon. <gasps> in a wagon. And you can get primitive diseases like dysentery. Yeah! Wait, 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 guys, look, 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 look. look. There's a girl that looks kind of like Scorpina. Do you think that's her? Yeah, I... so uh, past a small group of children being read to by <laughs> a lovely lady. They're reading a book about um, some caterpillars and how they turn into butterflies. Uh, you see, there is a beautiful window seat and a girl silhouetted in the window. She has long, dark hair and she's intently reading a book. Go get him, lady killer. Is, is she talking to me or you? I think she's talking to Eddie. What? <laughs> Eddie, you, you've killed ladies? I'll do it. No, no, no. I'll I, walk over, I'll walk over to him. her. Eddie, go with him. Okay, I'm going with him. <laughs> oh, hey, Eddie. What's hey. Uh, um, I just figured, you know, if it's her and I got the history of her, you know. Okay, do you want me to start the conversation? Sure. I walk up <laughs> to her. Hey, that's a, uh, I've read that book before. That's a great book, isn't it? The Book of Five Rings. That's right, The Book of Five Rings. I mean, the sequel to Book of Four Rings. Rings. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, I was just reading about if you cut off your enemy's legs, they can't run away from you. And oh, how interesting. Very straightforward technique. If you cut off your enemy's arms, they can no longer lift a weapon or sword in your direction. Oh, I, Fascinating. I, was, I was just trying to talk. I mean, I'm not trying to bother you. It would be hard for them to find gloves or shoes, right? Yeah. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Maddie. What's going on? <laughs> Hi. You can call me Sabrina. Sabrina. Cool. Mm -hmm. Name. It rhymes with... I forgot her name already. You're awesome, <laughs> Sabrina. You're totally cool to read books like that. Uh-oh, Vesper, I think they're... That's I am cool. I think we have to interfere. I am awesome, and I do like to read books. Should you stop hey, I, one I, of them? I, I too like to read books. Really? I don't think so. What? Book of Four Rings. Well, that's not a real book. <laughs> Just water on them. Water. Looks like that didn't uh, She joins yes. in in your laughter. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, uh, I get my water, and I'm like, okay, well, they're <laughs> they're under her spell already, and I'm, I... I'm so run. you guys are off in, into the distance watching Marv and Eddie And I start backing away from the... Look, I, I can see that um, I'm clearly not wanted here. I don't like to impose on, a, on an unwanted situation. It was nice meeting you. Uh, Sabrina? Sabrina. I keep my hand out. She doesn't. Shake your hand. Right, of course. Sorry, Marv. Why don't you go, you know, hang out with Chloe or something, because, you know, you guys can... Your friend is rather obnoxious and annoying me. Sometimes he is. I mean, I'm, we're cool and all, but every once in a while, I'm so obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're even friends right now. <laughs> I'll just, I'll see myself. Well, sometimes out. I feel like we're not, because, I mean, like, we really haven't been hanging out that much lately. <laughs> Vesper, Eddie, this reminds what, me of The uh, Odyssey Waller by Homer. D6? I'm me? sipping yeah. tea in the back of the uh, library. <laughs> Eddie, come on, man. Three. Three. Okay. She's getting more and more ticked off at you. Uh, so why did you uh, bother me? Oh, we were just wondering if anything was... Uh, I can't... Vesper, do you remember when uh, Odysseus was tied to the mast on board his ship? Look, okay, we're, we're, we're journalists, <laughs> all right? We're journalists and we're looking to... I thought I told you to go away. Right, okay, you know what? This journalist is gonna go away. You ask her about the Power Rangers. This is a library, why don't you shut up? <laughs> Wait, Eddie, stop out of it! Excuse, excuse, excuse my, excuse my cohort. Eddie! Is that your friend? I walk uh, away to, to the guys now. 
<laughs> no, I mean, no. I'm just, I'm here yeah, by myself. I don't see I'm like seeing with you. Yeah, I don't like people or friends either. I don't have any friends. Look, I'm I don't getting a bad them. vibe from this girl. She, I mean, not, not, not just because she was being rude to me. I, I think it's okay for girls to be rude to me. It's just kind of... <laughs> Eddie's, Eddie's acting weird around her. Eddie's looking that at her like the way he looked at me when I said that we were ranger buds. He also looks Isn't at the burritos that, that way. <laughs> I thought it was... He's falling under her spell. Why are you looking at me like Eddie I'm a burrito or something? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, I'm just, I just figured that it would be cool to just hang out with you because you said you were hanging out with me. Check the bio readings on Eddie's, through Eddie's morpher. Okay, so Alpha comes in. Yes, my room. Um, Try not that? to... Sorry. Draw attention to yourself. You're right, you're I'm trying right. to be quiet. Uh, Remember, my fine. mission is the same as yours. Be incognito. Don't change history again, please, right, Rangers. Right, right, right. I, I run into one of the the, the, the bookcases that have, don't have around people around him. Sure. Can you do a bio check reading on Eddie? I just got to make sure that he's okay. He's acting kind of weird. Alpha, uh, I'm here too. Hi. Uh, your energy signals are alive and well. However, uh, the ship is quite far away in Angel Grove Mountains, and you're shrouded by the library building itself. <sighs> What do you observe? He's just, he's acting kind of weird. At first I thought we were joking and trying to play it off like we usually do with the whole mission thing, but he, he seemed to be serious. He's, he's Alpha, he's looking at the lady like how he looks at the burritos. You know when he gets that crazy look in his eye? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Alpha, you, you know what I'm talking about. You have a funny look when you look at burritos too. Oh, <laughs> Alpha! <laughs> we're not, we're, what the, Alpha wants to fight me, guys. Enough is enough. I'm oh. gonna go stop this woman. Wait, 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 Oh, uh, I, just, I just position myself in front of her, so if anything, my body will stop her. Wait, wait, look, we have to... It doesn't surveil. feel good, though. We have to make sure everything's under control. Maybe Eddie is playing this off. I don't know, maybe I just got a little bit too sensitive, but... I don't know, he has been he was pretty aggressive to me on the ship about you. I think he's Listen to me, you guys, this is not gonna stop. I've tried to tell you three times. In the Odyssey, Homer is tied to the mast of his ship because he's being lured by the sirens. The only way the crew kept him from steering the ship into the rocks is to karate chop her in the neck. No, 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 no they wait. tied Odysseus. They tied him. They, they tied him to the mast. But so I was, I was there with him. I was there with him, and I didn't feel anything. And not to mention, she, she was just as mean to him as she was to me. There's no reason for her. Something about him is susceptible to her power. Is, I say we lock him up in plasma restraints. Is in Odysseus, front of everyone? Is Odysseus a dog? No. I don't know what you just said. Though. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, meanwhile, we cut back to Eddie. Why don't you tell me a little more about yourself? I like people who read books. Oh, uh, well, I'm from the I'm from the '90s, wicked whack and totally fresh. Vesper, but, uh, I have an idea. Go up to Eddie and act I'm like not. you're his girlfriend and get real jealous that they're talking. Okay, yes. that's okay. an amazing yes. idea, Chloe. But, but not too loud. You know, like be subtle, be like classy, but be like classy, firm. classy firm. and firm, firm, classy. Yeah. Got it. Quiet. I'm what do you quiet. mean you're not from the '90s? better than all the people here. So I'm walking up to them slowly. Hello! I'm special. Uh, you are very special. It doesn't uh, seem like she's, to me. He's uh, listening. Uh, uh, he's not so listening. Where? Do the slap thing. Do you always do. Uh, just, just Attend Angel Grove High say, School. Hey, what do you do with your go, days? Go, go, go back. Uh, hey, boyfriend. Hello, boyfriend! It is I, your girlfriend! <laughs> girlfriend! And Ranger Bud! That's his girlfriend! I'm his girlfriend! I too have read the book of Five Rings, and it said, you shall not pass. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> when the real girlfriend is around. <laughs> All right, I'm sick of this little game. I move game. around and reposition myself behind her in front of Eddie. So like, I'm like over here, just watching him and like kind of semi-cringing. <laughs> uh, the ruse is up. Eddie, I can tell that your boyfriends and girlfriends have been watching me this whole time. What do you have to say for yourself? We were real I, sneaky. 
I turn around like I'm about to say something bad to Vesper, but then I remember in the corner of my memory the wrench that she made. Aww. The Eddie wrench. Aww. <laughs> Vesper is my ranger, bud. These are all my <laughs> friends. And I don't think you're really Sabrina. I'm gonna whisper into the, the thing to all of their things. We're not supposed to tell people we're rangers. He, we could be like uh, the forest rangers. Right, great, great <laughs> idea, forest ranger buds. We are the forest rangers. And we will not. The forest what? rangers? You're trash. I don't like that name. Where are you guys really from? Where are you and guys? And why are you here at the library? Why? It's clearly not to read books. <gasps> Oh. I wanted to play the game on the computer trash. So that's why we're here. <laughs> uh, Alpha 55. Oh wait, you, you, you can't scan through the library. Oh. Uh, Who are you calling for? Why are you here? I don't think you belong. And she looks you up and down and sees that you're all watching, wearing watching, matching uh, overalls <laughs> and like backwards uh, shirts. It seems like you all came here together. Who are you here for? Who I, brought I, you to this place? I come around from the from further away now. Uh, sorry, like I said before, we're. I don't. I don't mean to impose on you again. I just want to talk to you about me and my friends. We're park rangers, and uh, we wanted to inquire a little bit about. Hey, are you okay? I'm I'm fine now. I think I I felt weird earlier. I don't know. Just somehow, where I was in this presence of her, just something weird happened. I don't even know what I said. Hey, listen, lady. We want to know one thing. Who are you, and where do you come from? Ha! Huh. I don't have to answer to you guys, but I think we do have something in common. Have you been contacted by this mysterious being from the future? Actually, yes, that's what I was going to talk to you about. We're park rangers and we saw some weird spaceship and we were tasked as park rangers to go talk to people in Angel Grove to see more about it. Yes. All Let's... right, uh, roll a d6 to see how much she uh, believes you. Okay, uh, do I add my charisma plus? Dang it, it doesn't matter, I got a one. Ah, oh. Gil! <laughs> This is super convincing. We are the hippest park rangers ever. I don't believe you guys, but you I do believe you were contacted by this mysterious figure. And did he also give you an offer? Because yes. I already turned him down. Oh. Oh, wow. us, us too. We're not you part turned of turned him down as Well, I just what was your offer? I just want to compare. <laughs> just curious. Roll D6. See if she had how much she wants to reveal. Can I super, super roll a d6? Yeah, you can super, super roll I'm a d6. Super, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. So I didn't. Woo! Whoa! Nine. Nine. Sure. Of course. Uh, what were you saying? Girl I... with the pink shirt. <laughs> Thanks. Um, it, it's Chloe. Uh, I was wondering <laughs> what. <laughs> What was your deal? Cause we got one too, but I just, I'm trying to like compare. Like, do I want to do it? Do we not? That deal doesn't matter. I will be the only one to destroy the Power Rangers. The who are Once you? and for all, not Rita Repulsa and not that stupid meathead who calls himself Zed. Well, where what kind of name is that anyways? Guys. Well, to learn the alphabet. Guys, I think Sabrina might be Scorpina. What? what? You might be right! I think so too! Sabrina is Scorpina? What are we talking yeah, about, I, Eddie? I don't know. Guys, I don't know how we didn't recognize that Jasper, before. It's the most ridiculous. Someone. You haven't done that. She yet. leans think... back. Wait, 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 we're in a public place. We can't just swap people. Sorry. She what leans back as you discuss amongst yourselves, folding her arms. Suddenly, the light that was shining behind her in the window goes dark. All the windows in the library go dark. Like uh, clouds are covering the sky. This happened in the something. Odyssey too! Wait, okay, look, I, what I don't get is we found her, so she's not missing, so there's no time anomaly, so we can just leave. Was that a trap? But now we're stuck! Suddenly, Wait. the double doors of the library fling open, oh. and a go 
gust of wind uh, blows uh. through the doors and it hits you guys. And then you can hear the fluttering of the uh. books and the papers uh. Uh. Oh, guys. in the library. Uh. I've had enough of this. It's time for a heroic monologue. You try to steal my boyfriend with your mystical ways. I don't know what you're up to, but I have an idea of who you are, and I'm not going to let you get away with this. Yeah! Yeah! Guys, uh, let's and take her down. Wait, wait, hold on. There's a tornado outside. Everybody get to safety. Yeah. Everybody get to safety. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just got here. Because every, yeah, this place is not structurally down. stable. I, I am an architect. And I, I came to inspect this place. It is not structurally sound. You're better off outside. I Everyone swear outside. to God. Everyone out there. Everyone uh, go. Roll to see what happens. How hey, can I be super, super, super convincing? <laughs> so yeah, be super, super convincing. Yes. Woo! So that's oh. plus six. And you're one for your charisma. Okay, so that's thirteen. Thirteen. <sighs> dun dun dun. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, because it's such a quiet library, you he everybody turns and looks at your face and they're like, a uh, crazy person? No, 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 I'm a licensed architect, I swear! I take off my hat and I pull out a badge really quick just to flash it. See, licensed <laughs> architect! Uh, they look at your crazy overalls and you look kind of young for a working professional. I I'm going to UC Berkeley! Uh, and also, some people look outside. Uh, there isn't a tornado going on, but there is a figure silhouetted in the door. Oh, great. And uh, oh. Sabrina turns and looks at you, laughs, rolls her eyes, and starts heading towards the figure that is silhouetted in the doors of the library. Uh oh. She's completely ignoring you guys, approaching that figure. What's closer. that figure look like? What is it? Ah, as the figure also heads closer to meet with Scorpina, this is. This is not so tall, but they are a very hideous, unhuman-like creature. Uh -oh. Sure, they have two legs, but they seem to be wearing an apron, and they are made of, of like shiny black, almost like volcanic rock, and holding a hammer. Oh. oh. Like yours, but smaller and a different shape. I, while all, all this is going on, I scan uh, for other exits in the building. Yeah. Do I see any other closer exits? Uh, roll d6. Two. Two. Uh, nope. You don't see exits, uh, except for the entrance that you come, uh, first came in on, and maybe there are other exits, but mostly you see shelves. Okay, and well, how many people are in the building currently, besides us? You know what? Let's see. <laughs> It's an RPG. Oh wait, this one is. Hmm? Ah. There could be about 20 people in the building. Oh boy. Uh, just the woman that was reading to the kids. I mean, there was like eight kids there. Another lady, uh, four people working behind the, uh, uh, the checkout counter, ringing up books. Uh, people hanging out in other window seats, study groups. While those two figures are in the doorway, I'm gonna scream to the crowd again. Guys, I'm serious! My friend here is a meteorologist and I'm an architect. This place is not structurally sound. I know there is no tornado outside, but there is one coming! So please make your way out of here. So, uh, In some other exit fashion. Uh, roll a... Uh, super, super convincing! Okay, roll a super, super convincing d6. Ugh! Seven. Really? Or eight, because of charisma. Okay. Um, so, uh, suddenly, two of the little kids, they look really scared. They look at the strange figure who has just appeared, and then they look at you. They're more scared at you. And <laughs> that little girl comes up. I think it's that little girl you saw trick-or-treating a, a couple days ago. And she's, she's got like hey. tears buck up. Hey, and her and she's like, hey, you What's remember going me, right? On? You, you remember me? We, we, we met uh, on Halloween, look. Um, we were just reading about caterpillars and I, now you I, want us all to leave! No, 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 I know, I know. This, this place is not safe. Can you and your friends please find an exit? I don't, I don't, can you tell, can you tell the adult with you over there please? Because no one's going to listen to me and I need your help. Oh, oh, I'm scared! It's, it's okay, don't, don't be scared. You're, look, 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 you're strong. You're strong. You're stronger than everyone. Okay? Remember your costume? I, th I thought it was fantastic. And you, with all the candy that you got, you are so capable. You can do this. You mean when I was a fairy princess? Yes! 
<laughs> yes, you are a fairy princess. Look, look, just imagine yourself. Clear. You are a fairy princess. Yeah, you I are, am. You are tasked with the duty as a fairy princess to make sure every one of your friends get out here safe. Uh, okay. Can you do that for me, please? I thought I wasn't supposed to trust strangers. Oh, well, we met before, remember? Okay. My, my name is Marvin. Okay, look, my, now we're not strangers anymore. Marvin. Yeah, please. Can you please do that for me? I like that name because it sounds like diamonds. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like diamonds. Can I give her some of my candy that I have in my pocket? <laughs> she might scare her. What's that? You want some candy? I have some candy from Halloween. Okay, roll a T6 to see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna super roll it. Uh, okay, you get a super roll it. Oh, man. Oh! I got an eight. <laughs> She uh she goes oh, wide eyed so uh, looking at the candy. It's a piece of candy corn. She reaches both hands of her little hands up. Uh oh. Whoa. Ah. Now can you please tell your friends to, to find an exit? Not not this one. Not with those two big bad people over there, okay? Oh, uh, if you just go to the back of this library room, there's the bathrooms and the big exit sign. And suddenly you she points to an exit sign, oh, and you're like, see that. "Duh!" <laughs> of course. Great. You take your friends over there, guys. I need you guys to evacuate the buildings as quick as you possibly can. Okay. It, 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 so the as quick girl, as we possibly can uh, would be morphed. Grabs the little other little kids, oh, we can't and they, people, they all make a line and they head towards the exit. Bye, strange architect, Mar. Bye, the fairy princess. Enjoy you did a great candy. job. Yeah. So. I'm going to adjust my banana bandana and help to clear the building. All right. I'm All right. gonna make a ruckus and try to scare people out of the building. Oh, ah, absolutely. Roll d6, roll d6. Meanwhile, Sabrina, Sabrina is talking inaudibly to this strange creature wearing the apron. I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, Eddie, why don't you find a position what did you that get? you can listen in better? Okay. Five. What did you oh. guys get? One. Uh, Somehow, the other uh, people in the library, they, they seem a little dismissive of ah! you. They do notice your uh, friend here in the bright yellow shirt underneath the overalls. I am scary and very mad. Uh, there's a, a dude wearing a, a striped t-shirt. All right, ah! goth girl, whatever you say, nice overalls. Um, do you know anything about these two over here? Uh, yeah. They're trouble and you should probably leave. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, it works best. <laughs> All right. Can you return these library books? Uh, I just don't want a late fine. Sure. So, uh, that, that guy with the striped t-shirt uh, hands off those books to you. Totally and uh, you're making more of a ruckus and everybody, you've got more of everybody's attention. That's right. Listen, people, we are shooting a music video here. Look at my outfit, I'm clearly the lead dancer. I need all of you to move because my moves are so fly that I will knock this furniture over and I might spill your book bag onto the ground. So help me out and leave the building. Uh, okay. And uh, a lot of people are like shuffling out now. That's uh, right, six, keep it moving. Seven, Move it. Uh, eight of them. There's still people who work for the library. It seems like the regular civilians have left, but the people who work for the library are like, maybe they're calling the cops. You see somebody on the phone oh there. Oh my and, goodness. And meanwhile, you hear- uh, What do you hear, Eddie? Well, I was gonna say, I, I'm gonna go over to where Sabrina mm -hmm. and this figure are and see if I can mm -hmm. hear their conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, you hear like, and uh, all of a sudden you see Sabrina's eyes uh, go wide. She nods. She Does anyone smiles. else see? Is it only Eddie who sees it? Uh, you would probably be distracted by convincing people that they're about to be in the way of a music video, right? Shoot, That's shoot, shoot. Pro probably, right? Uh, you don't really hear, but you do see Scorpina's uh, reaction. Uh, and then you hear this guy, and then you hear Sabrina say, yes, Velkonos, I understand. And then Velkonos is a little, uh, 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 speaks a little louder. Don't bother with these power geeks. Complete your mission. Go retrieve the clay from Finster's lab 
and meet up back on the ship so we can leave this wretched place. What do you hear, Eddie? It's some being called Falconos. They're trying to retrieve clay from this creature, Finster. Finster used to work for Rita and would be able to create monsters out of these clay. Like those, like those, those, those putty things that we fought earlier. Okay, so if, if anything, we, we have to immobilize her without erasing her from time. How can we do that? While you guys are talking, Scorpina walks away and the shadow lifts from the library. Follow her, follow her. Okay. Everyone, let's go. We're gonna move, move out. As you uh, walk away, you see her body teleport away. What? And then the j a dark shadow leaves and Vulcanos laughs a horrible laugh to himself. I'm gonna run, see if I can run past that guy. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, just like Run. There you go. I, I, I got a three, two. Uh, roll again. Lightning bolt. Oh, well, I got it too. You run right past him. But as you're running past him, he reaches down to the ground. Suddenly, you feel that wind, the wind that first showed up when he first showed up. And the ground is like trembling. Whoa. Books are falling off the shelves at the library and the librarians are hiding behind the shelves and hiding behind the checkout counter. There is certainly somebody calling for the cops. Guys, find find a safe spot and I think it's time. Are you guys I, ready? I, I'm going to run a, run down the aisle and start picking up librarians like they're large junior college books <laughs> and just keeping them under my arms as I, as I just run towards the nearest exit with as many of those Librarians, as I can grab. All right, roll for the attempt. I would like to a super, a super this. Oh, super, super, do it. That's a four. A four. <laughs> but with my added extra bonuses, what do I get, Doc? Uh, well, it was a wise move, so I will give you one for that. And super, super, so that's four, right? Nine. So you roll the four. I did. So it's I, eight. So it'd be nine. I Total did. of nine. Uh, while well, a fantastic plan in your mind as you run barreling towards the other librarians. They're like, who the heck is this person? Why are they wearing like overalls, a big old yellow t-shirt and a backwards hat and they just like stay out of you and they're like, uh, man, what's going on? Do you see what's going on here? And they point to Vulcanos who is seemingly gathering energy from the very earth the floor of the library itself. You guys need to evacuate the area, and I'm sorry I dropped you two on your faces. Wait, guys, I'm clear out here. I think we have to morph. So, are you guys in a position where you can? So, <laughs> quit no. you get to, two, two librarians just saw you because you tried to pick them up and roll I did. I and did. run out the door I with did. them. I'm not, but I'm not, I'm, I, I'm uh, no, I cannot. No, no, Marv, I cannot. We have to do something quick. Where are you? I'm behind him. I'm in front of him. As you guys are discussing, it seems like the books are moving across the floor of the library. This can't win anywhere. They're I don't know if I'm gonna get another chance. For me, anyways. It's morphin' time. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm more behind him and I'm just gonna, while he's doing his thing, I don't know what he's doing, so I'm just gonna run from the back, I'm gonna drop kick him. Cause I'm gonna do a lunging strike, yes. but as a drop kick. Yes, uh, uh, absolutely. Uh... I'm gonna super. Uh, I don't know if I want to... Uh, do it, do it, okay. Okay. Him. Okay. okay. Ah! I'm gonna super drop, lunging strike, drop kick him. Towards uh, Volcanos. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. So that's nine plus ten. 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 <laughs> oh gosh! Why do I always bum rush and stop? Yeah. Uh, uh, I gotta stop bum rushing, man. Nah, it just shows up. You thought a tornado showed up? Let's bum rush this guy. Yeah, I gotta do something. Uh, uh, <laughs> as you I'm sorry, guys. come flying down I'm sorry. towards their head, uh, Velcono's head. He looks up 
with a horrible smile. And then suddenly, books fly in and create distance between you. And then the books stack themselves up. It's like a horrible book creature was created from the powers of Velkanos. But it's like horribly misshapen. It's certainly not symmetrical. And it, it kind of limps. That's because of my failed dropkick. That's, that's what it is. You. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. And then guys. another one behind more books, pieces of the floor lamp at the library, pieces of the chairs of the library, pieces of the carpet of the library. They formed into these like weird garb, like library garbage monsters. And they start kind of making their way towards you. Sometimes when they step, they stumble and they like lose their foot or part of their leg, but it's okay. Their, their books kind of reform to prop them up. And there's two right now. And uh, this is time for your initiative. Uh, heading towards you, Marv. Okay. Um, so I, I'm on the floor now because I drop kicked them and failed, obviously. Uh-huh. Uh, I have a lot of energy. I am gonna try out Vesper's weapons that she gave me. I'm gonna pull out the claws and I'm gonna jump and do what we did. And I'm gonna yes. jump, spin towards one of them, see if I can just Whoa. strike through one of them. Just. Absolutely, uh, roll for it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do a, s oh, I don't wanna be selfish and take it actually. I'm just gonna uh, do it. We should just use them if they're there. Okay, then I'm gonna do a super. Okay. Yes, okay, so that's 11. Fantastic. And as you hurl towards these very strange creatures made of pages and bits and pieces of the library itself, um, you just kind of push through them and then pieces go flying left and right and one of the creatures is disabled, but another one is still kind of trying to reform from the rubble of the library bits and make your way. Towards Chloe. you. It worked, but it, it doesn't even have a face, okay? This thing is <laughs> it's it's semi-phased. Can you do something? Yeah, I guess so. Uh <laughs> <laughs> We're together, you guys. Come on! Wait, question, if I morph, will that be my turn? No. I uh, no, in the system no. What? It's one for time! I know this is a little brash, but I'm just gonna hurricane whirlwind this thing. If I can lump it all together, then maybe we can put whatever yeah. this beast is out, and it's gonna be in one spot anyways, right? That's a fantastic idea. All right, I'm gonna do a super hurricane whirlwind. All right, go ahead. Oh my god. Ooh, well, it's, thank goodness uh, you had a super. Five? Is that with or without the super? With? Oh. Oh, don't. Oh. <laughs> I, you're very lucky. I got a 5 2. So roll again. Oh, oh, oh. Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. You got it, Chloe. Oh! oh. Two? Wait. Yeah, what? 10. No way. I got a 10 2. Look. I, 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 like, no, I, look at, I don't know if you can see that, but. Oh, wait. Look at the same. That's you're crazy. The, we All trust right. you. The game. You're All the right. Game. So you, you know, you're like trying to attack and you're head to head. <laughs> One more blow. Yeah. Uh, six, eight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bonus points for being in the same wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> As you do your super whirlwind kick, it actually just gathers more and more books towards Velkanos, and he's got his fingers in the ground. He's got, uh, when you look, huge hands like the kind of, like a sculptor would have and more and more debris within the library gets dragged in towards him eddie please do something all right i'll do my best it's more time hyperforce blue ready power up all right time to put these weapons to use i'm going to use my oceanus tried it to try to take down these book creatures you because I have long range so maybe I can knock them out and uh -huh. make them just be regular books sure I think these monsters are overdue for a bashing 
Oh. Whoa. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, eight. All right, you're just targeting one, two. Two. I'm targeting All right, you're both. targeting two. And so as you hold the trident, it feels so comfortable and familiar in your Ooh. hand, even though okay. it's... The <laughs> Don't make it weird. No, I'm, I'm not making it weird. Like, you don't make it weird. Energy thing. Don't make it, you made it weird. <laughs> and as you rush towards these book, book creatures, you squeeze, skewer right through them. Oh. And it's just a pile of books attached to your trident. And then a, a leash of energy, just uh, a, a, a blast of energy is unleashed and goes up the trident. And then the books are burned at the, the prongs oh, of nice. your trident. Oh, Very nice. Guys. There are no more <laughs> monsters, but Velkonos is drawing more and more, and he's actually created a wall around him. Oh. Wait, what if we a Wall use, of books. What if we use our weapons that you guys created in range mode and all focus our energy on this guy? Well, he's got a... He's got a, he's covered with books right now. Yeah, listen, and that's not gonna happen while I'm dressed like Heavy D. It's war for top. Hyperforce, yellow, ready, power up. Wait, you, do, you just, whoa, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Jack is back. <laughs> Crazy. Listen, this is a screwy decimal system. We gotta take care of this monster. Yeah. Uh, uh, some of the librarians laugh at your joke. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I like this guy. <laughs> All right. Why are we trying to um, talk about that? What are you gonna do? <laughs> So, all you see is a wall of books. Are you gonna face off against the wall of books between you and Velkonos? I think I've got a chance here, you guys. We've got some new weapons. I think it's time to use the Krius hammer. Mm -hmm. I am going to do a ram rage rush towards this wall of books and using my new amazing battle Hammer axe. Yeah. Very blunt axe. Hammer. Yeah. That's the hammer. Yeah. They call it. Yeah. I'm going to attack the wall of books. May I roll 2d6, boss? Absolutely. You are morphed and you roll 2d6. You feel the weight of your power. It's coming down. Okay, maybe not. It's falling down. Okay, that's a 10. You roll a 10. Nice. As you rush towards the wall of books, uh, you push through and you scatter and you actually butt heads <gasps> with Velkonos. Made contact. Your oh, hammer. I got horns, yo. Your your hammer makes contact with Velkonos himself. What? And their head is like, oh, and he sets back. How dare you touch me? Wow, the <laughs> Jack is back. The Woo! Jack is back. <laughs> Great, I'll take it from here. It's Morphin time. Hyperforce, slap, ready, power up. Popcorn. All right, I take out my my Cerberus disc and using the, the handle that I hold it by, I fling it out. The handle turns into the long Woo! end of the axe and the disc opens to three separate blades and I run towards Velkanos and I swing my blade around. And you make I, it super? And I make it a super <laughs> as it goes around my head and I use all that force and swing right at his legs. Uh, eight. Is that with the super? Yeah. Okay. Ah, as you are trying to take advantage of this mm -hmm. movement, Jack just got an awesome move. You rush towards with your fantastic weapon, almost like a sister weapon to what you created for Jack. Um, unfortunately, Velkonos looks up and reaches deep into the ground and falls backwards. More books cover his body. A wall emerges and more creatures 
horrible creatures oh no. walk out of the wall towards you. One, uh, two, three, four, five of them. Guys, uh, how about we do a reading group and uh, <laughs> put our brains together and our weapons together. I'll join that book club. I'm in the book club too. Yes, this is gonna be fundamental. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now, uh, when you when you're facing forward. There are two on one side and three on the other. And Belkanos laughs at himself, folding his arms. Uh-oh. All of a sudden, he says, Ah, these are big and slow. They're no match for you, Rangers. However, maybe they are more than a match for these civilians, librarians. Oh, oh no. no, don't you love books? Uh, we gotta protect the librarians. How? We've gotta get these civilians out of here somehow. Yeah, you're right. There oh. are three librarians behind the, the checkout counter. I'll they distract higher, them. They're, uh, they're you know, shuddering and stuff. I'll distract them, you guys get them out of here. Or okay. wh whoever wants to distract. Chloe, why don't you stick with me? Yeah, I'm, we we're a pretty make good a team. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm pretty fast too. You guys, Get the people out of here. Me and Chloe will try our best with our ranged weapon to, to snipe down these monsters and hopefully control the situation. Vesper, what do you think? Do you have an attack you can mount? Uh, yes, I do. Come um, on, Eddie. Let's try and get these librarians out of here. Let's do it. Book fair down the street! <laughs> I switch my uh, claw to the gun mode, to the, the sure. launcher. I look at it. Let's find out what this baby can do. Uh, why don't you... I have my sight and my bow. I mean, it turns into, you know, whatever. Okay, well, uh, I'll shoot from this side, you shoot from this side, and you can take over whatever whatever's left standing. Great, At sounds once. good. At yep. once. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use an ultra for mine. I'm gonna use a, a super. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll use luck. <laughs> uh, absolutely. So you're doing a teamwork? Attack yeah. You're on Marv's turn. turn. So, okay. Yep. So she's going to use Ultra. I'm not going to okay. use Ultra. So we just roll a one, right? So uh, I'm going to use teamwork. Yeah, team. One? Yeah. One? Okay. Yeah. My Hyperion bow, it uh, fires cutting arrows that can blow through multiple enemies. What? Oh. So no, no. I'll get some high ground and three just let it go. Three on one side, two on other. The three seem to be heading towards the three librarians hiding under the checkout counter. Okay. I rolled five. Let's get them. I rolled a one. Oh, you have to roll 2d6s because uh, Oh. One. I got a six, so six. eight. Wait, you rolled 2d6s and got one? She got, she got six overall. Oh, okay, six. I was six, like, what? Six, six, yeah. one. And then I got two, so eight. Really? You rolled a one? I rolled a one. I, I can't do much about that. All right, and it was on your turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what does this mean? So the two that were on this, uh, three of them approached the three librarians. The other two charged towards you. And I... Eyes over here! And then what looks like its head is this black book. You look at the cover, it says, Book of Five Rings? Uh, oh no. Never liked that book. All of a sudden, <laughs> the book face opens towards you and the pages flip out and they like fling towards your face like paper nah. cups. Uh, how, how did you guys do? Did you guys distract them? Did my arrows do anything? Uh, no, because it was teamwork attack, which failed, which means oh, they all oh, failed. What a waste But you a still super. have know, your sorry. turn. Okay. You still have your turn. So teamwork doesn't, your turn, but it does because it was Marv's turn, right? Okay. That's the end of your turn. Yep. Okay. So how much damage do I take? Two. Two. It's paper. And that oh. chat can come through with some it's super paper. mega ultra over me. So great. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm gonna attempt to, uh, I'm gonna throw my disc at these guys. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard of a... Maybe you can bounce them off and take out multiple enemies. Yep, I'm gonna try to do that. So I grab my, I put my ax back in disc form and I just throw it like a boomerang. Sure. Around all the enemies yeah. and I get uh, four. Four. Ah, uh, you throw your disc, putting all your force behind it. And then it actually cuts through one of 
the creatures. Not the one with the book open face, but another one. It was a little smaller and um, it actually had a globe for a foot, like a, you know, like a diagram. And, it has different countries on it that you don't recognize and it pops the globe and it falls and it shatters into a lot of pieces of Nice job, paper. Vesper! See you later! Alright, so now there's just like, uh, it's one buddy is left over that was just harassing Marv and then there's the three still headed towards All right. the librarians. Alright, so I'm going, I'm gonna go in and take care of those three that are running towards the librarian. Yeah. I'm gonna use my Hyperion bow. Yes, yeah, so and you can target multiple enemies. Yep, yeah, and I'm gonna try and shoot all three of them. Awesome. Uh, go, try. What? Yeah. Let's try, there's, there's three of them. Ooh. You're trying all three, so. Six. Got a uh, what and a what? A four and a two. All right, as you pull back your bow, it feels fantastic. Maybe you expected it to be harder, but it's like you're an expert archer. It feels so familiar to you. It was designed so well. Um, it flies straight and true towards the book creatures, but however, they were first all in a line and then two separate to terrorize uh, two of the librarians. But you do hit one of the creatures and it actually just explodes on contact into a flutter of a bunch of pages. And now there's just the one guy who was uh, harassing you and the two that are now uh, jumping. They're doing this, they're putting their hands on the checkout counter and they're jumping and trying to like harass the librarians who are shuddering underneath the counter. Jack, how's everything going? Well, we're watching these book monsters terrorize these librarians. Let's literally help them. Yes. It doesn't I like take that. much. It doesn't take much. Just make sure you land it. Yeah. They not, explode. Not like what I did. Maybe, maybe if the maybe if the two of us work together, we can maybe take the rest of them out. Why don't we do a little piggyback maneuver? I like piggyback maneuver. I'm gonna drop down into the ram stance and wait for my teammate to pile on. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on top, jump off of his back, and pull out my Oceanus blade on the last two book nice. monsters. Nice, Oceanus, uh, the blade mode, right? Yes. I use my horns and help him along. Oh, awesome! So uh, go ahead, roll both. You both have to pass. Oh, that's a single. Oh, it's a single, right? Because mm -hmm. it's group. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well then, I got the two. I got a six. That's for eight. Uh, as you lower down, creating the foundation that will help hoist your friend up into the air, you use him almost like a, a trampoline and you launch way down you have a perfect view you Woo! have both daggers Here in comes your hands, the rainbow and then you just go <laughs> over a little too much oh! you hit you hit the wall but you double back now there are two librarians in front of you they're shuddering and you're facing off with two of these book creatures should probably be it was uh whose turn was that that was Jax. It was Jack's turn. Oh, so Eddie, what do you do next? Or you could give it to me. Popcorn. Oh, yeah. All right. But if we popcorn it to her. she gets two turns later. Oh. We can't, we can't let the monster hit them. You could take both of them out. I That's think they're strategy. facing him, right? Facing me? Yeah, yeah I'm facing yeah, them. Because you're behind the counter now because you flew over. But you the, can't sink her bookmobile until you give her a chance to sink your bookmobile. All right. Jack! I'm scared! <laughs> <laughs> Me too, buddy! <laughs> I guess those ones. <laughs> uh, one uh, opens up its face. It's a book, and a little page goes, and it's teasing oh, you. That's just rude. That's just rude. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, look, if you let these monsters get a chance to attack, these civilians could get hurt. I will not do that. We must protect the sacred library. So I put my blades back onto my staff to create the Oceanus Trident, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say, librarians, you might wanna duck for this, and I'm gonna swing across to hit both of the book monsters so they do not touch the precious librarians. All right, go ahead. 10, oh no, eight. <laughs> All right. 
So, as you swing both your, uh, your com now your combined daggers into the Oceanus Trident, right? Yeah. At these book monsters, you skewer one, and then it connects, and then you skewer another one. You shush kebab, these book monsters, and then a force of uh, energy goes right up the uh, handle, and then they explode. Oh! And the librarians are like, they are so terrified. You know, they're very gentle people. Uh, and they like look up and they have they didn't see anything. They just are like, is it over? <laughs> oh, don't Good worry, job, librarians. Eddie. You're totally safe now. Those books will not bother you anymore. The only books that you'll have are the good ones you curl up with at night that do not attack. You hear, Aah! Hold that thought. It's, <laughs> it's from where Belkonos was standing, still at the threshold of the library. I can't wait to play with Rita's magic clay. These imbeciles are barely a fight for these rangers. <sighs> and then he also turns and leaves the library. What? Everyone um, keeps leaving us. You know what? He just I'm, walks out. I'm gonna try to do a cheap shot on him and I'm gonna spear gun him as sure. he turns his back on us. Does anybody want to join me? I'll shoot my arrows his way. I can, I, well, can we blast? I'll yeah. take, we'll take him down this oh, time. Alpha, bet on it. We got supers now? Ay, 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 rangers up. incognito, okay. remember? Incognito. Uh, uh, they, we're in more ranger costumes, aren't we? Yes. yes. Books just walked. Uh, <laughs> don't change history. Uh, that's These a good point. These books could be rewritten as you're doing this in the library. Guys, maybe we should just cut our losses. And just let him walk away? He's going, isn't he going to the, a classroom to grab something? Chloe, right? I think it's more of a strategic retreat on our part. We need some time to think and talk about this. But he's getting away. Uh, it, you want to pursue? Look, Jack, I'm shoot my, you, you I'm are our senior. Okay, while, sure. while she shoots, I'm going to talk to you. You are our senior uh, officer. They you guys are still in the library. The doors have closed behind him. He's he gone. walked out the doors. Can I cartwheel kick him open and shoot my arrow? Okay, very well. Nice. Roll. 2d6. <laughs> I'm a Jack. super it. Uh huh. Yeah. You Hold are on. the senior officer. Hold on, let's. 10? Yeah! Nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I don't know how to count. Nine? Nine. Oh. Oh, super, super, oh. 11. Oh. You did super, super, right? Just super. Oh, nine. Uh, as you cartwheel kick in desperation to try to catch this horrible person who can raise monsters from anything, uh, the doors fling open and indeed you were there in time. He turns around, looks over his shoulder. You get a really good look into his eyes. It's almost like their fiery uh, pupils, dark beady eyes with an intense glare, but there's a fire in his eyes. And then suddenly, just like the fire in his eyes, he also teleports away. Uh, that didn't work. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we need to get out of here before people come and we, yeah. we can't let them see us like this. <gasps> Rangers! What happened? Oh my goodness, what have you learned? Did you find Scorpina at We least? did find Scorpina. Alpha, can you teleport us back to the time ship? We'll explain everything there. Very well. And then you guys feel the teleportation beam go through your body, <gasps> and you have come back to the central command area of the ship. This is so Ooh. frustrating. I feel like we can't catch a break. Every single time we try and do the right thing, I feel like we're met with opposition. Look, when does it get easier? I'm just gonna say something that you told me. Chloe, okay. this is our second time on this mission, and you have done amazingly for us. We can't control the circumstances that we're in. These guys are stronger than us. As much as we've practiced, at least now we know that we can dent these guys with the weapons that you guys have created. And with the support that you've given me, you've, real, you've made me realize that rushing into things is a bad decision. We've done our best, and we, we can't control the fact that these guys, they could teleport at will. They're stronger than us, we need to devise a better plan next time when we go in. With something like this especially, now that we know what she wants, we know what this alliance wants, technically. They didn't come here to trap us. They came here for uh, Rita's magic clay, you said? Yes. 
can yeah. be used to create all kinds of different monsters. Oh, that's good news. We at least have some intel. And we also know that there's this creature named Valkanos on their side and Scorpina now who is... Yeah, Valkanos, they all joined. what did he do? He, he can create monsters as well. He doesn't need Rita's special clay, but apparently these monsters are nowhere near as strong as... Oh, Scorpina also mentioned something about Zed. Yes! Yeah, that's another famous villain of the era. Yeah. Zed. Well, you know, scarier than Rita. You know, when, we, when it comes to the Alliance, my friends, they are many, as they said. And evil is their goal. I think that we need to see if we can find some allies of our own in this timeline. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. I'm not sure what it means, my friends, but we're not doing so hot here. Rangers, any clue? What should we do next? Where should we go? I can still teleport you, though. I well, think we're still stuck in this time and place. They said they were off to go look for Rita's clay, and you said something about... I heard something about outer space? Is, is Yeah, apparently, according to my research, uh, she has a... they have a base out, out in outer space. We'd have to go there. That's pretty vague. Outer space. <laughs> wait, outer wait, space. We can find the right coordinates. Wait, I just realized, if she's going there to steal clay from Rita, enemies of our enemies, maybe we could do something, unless if this Rita also so happens to join the Alliance. Rita Repulsa is one of the most evil creatures to ever inhabit any time. And you, Marv, you, Marv you're, you're suggesting that we make an no, alliance no, 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 with no, no, her? No, 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 no. I'm no. saying she might join their alliance. And if, and if we do end up being there, stuck on whatever space station they have, she joins their alliance, we... Well, not to mention we have no fuel. We have no means of getting anywhere. Jack, you're absolutely right. I fear for your safety. Please do not approach Rita Repulsa! So how can we stop Scorpina from getting the clay? <sighs> I don't know the answer to this. Look, we all we can really do is just continue on and... Search for more clues. More clues on how to stop these guys. More clues about the Alliance and... Well, we've destroyed the library. Awesome first step. Really, great maybe, work. Maybe we should go back in our regular overall clothes and... And help. And help fix that up. That's, That's a, a great idea, idea Chloe. Idea. Let's do that. Demorph. Okay. Power down. Demorph. Ah, uh, so you want to return back to the library? We'd like to go back and help. Very well. The library has always been an institution of knowledge. Perhaps you could find more clues or things to learn about the time. That's a great idea, Alpha. Yes. Can you Very teleport well. us back to the library? Doop, doop, doop. You're back at the library, uh, right outside where you were first teleported. You're still wearing overalls. All right, let's <clears> see <throat> what we can. Picking up books. I'm gonna go pull uh, Eddie aside. Hey, Eddie, um, listen, when, when you were under some sort of a spell, you said. You said some things to me that that I realized was true. I haven't been a very good friend of you. I, I thought that I could escape my past, but apparently right now it's literally coming back to haunt me. And I, I haven't been completely honest with you. I wanna let you know that there was a time where I was a Time Force officer. And it's not my proudest thing, but I was booted off the force. Why? I don't like to point fingers, but uh, see that guy right there? And I point over to Jack cleaning up books. He was my partner. He was my partner and I told him my secret and I thought I could trust him and some, Obviously, he must have told someone, and the dean found out, and uh, the whole Time Force Academy found out, and I was kicked off of the academy. Luckily for me, they were very kind. They, they initiated me in a program of recovery. I, I did community service, and I was allowed back into the Time Force if I finished the program. And that's when I met you. And you've been nothing but kind to me, so I'm sorry that I kept that away from you. It's okay. Uh, you know, 
I don't know if you ever want to tell me what all went down, but I appreciate you told me this. But just notice, Marv, you came back. You could have quit, you could have moved on, you could have left this all behind you, but you got the opportunity to do this again and you did it again. And look, you're right here with your partner, with your friend, saving the world again, saving time again. <laughs> so sometimes bad things happen in our lives to put us in the right places for good things to happen. Thanks, Eddie. No problem. So we kind of like zoom away from the rangers very cinematically as they uh, continue <laughs> to do an act of community service. Stacking books. Stacking <laughs> books. Uh, some of the little librarians are very devastated. Um, and uh, finally, uh, some of the police had shown up and some of the librarians who were hiding underneath the checkout counter said, oh my goodness, uh, uh, this, uh, the craziest thing happened. There were, it was like our own books got animated and they were destroying things and tearing themselves up. And then this blue ranger that I'd never seen before came and saved us. And that's kind of the end of our episode. Huh? I said, who are you calling little? I'm the littlest one. <laughs> Thank you so much, chat room, for going yeah. on this Power Rangers Hyperforce adventure with us. Subscribers, you can watch the rerun immediately right after we go down. And YouTube fans, it will be online a week from today so that you can catch up. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Woo! Super Mega Ultra! Yeah, seriously, that helped so much! Thanks, Thank you guys. You. Thanks for playing along with us. Thank you guys so much uh, for contributing and supporting. Um, we have a giveaway to do. Oh my goodness, Ultra Bucks! We have Ultra, Ultra Bucks. Bucks! Don't forget to find the Hyperforce Alliance. It's weird that it's called an alliance, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, so don't forget to join the Hyperforce Alliance on Power Rangers Legacy Wars and get active in the chat. Right now we're giving away an Ultra Box to a lucky chat room member. Um, so get active, we're gonna, we're gonna pull that really soon. Thank you guys so much, stick around. We're gonna be doing a fireside chat uh, with whoever's available right after the episode. And then we got Hyper Otaku coming up after that, our anime news show starting around 9.30. Otaku! Uh, so you should definitely stick around for that. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow night we have our Valiant Comics RPG that IGM that is uh, actually okay. canon in the Valiant Comics comics universe. It's the most un-PG show on our network, so it is not this. It is not this show. It's very inappropriate. <laughs> we don't uh, know what you're talking about because we are so wholesome. Yeah, compared to that show, yes. 100%. <laughs> Considering last week's show, they were all strippers. Um, oh, oh, oh! It's an interesting show. Oh, what, is, uh, what is this stripper? And it's oh. all canon in the Valiant comic book universe. So and H-World, we, we use that to take paint off. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what I meant. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, Lucas, so we pull a winner? Hey! Hey! <laughs> They're working on it, they're working on it guys. Don't forget to subscribe to, con uh, to continue supporting this awesome content. Uh, subscribers get access to all our wonderful emotes, access to the VODs and meet hey, with us. Hey, don't forget to download your stinking badges. Yes. yes. Oh. Do all sorts of that and make sure to play the mega game. Thank you guys so much for all the energy. We're gonna have to rebalance that system, that is crazy. Yeah. Yay. We found out there are 2,000 people playing that game. We had originally estimated somewhere between 200 and 300 people. That's oh. amazing! Um, so wow. if you've been having issues with the metagame... Uh, extension. The extension. If you've been having issues with the extension, not loading, things like that, we are putting that whole thing together. Uh, there's literally one developer on it, uh, Pillowzak in the chat room. He's been working extremely hard on it. Malika worked on it. Uh, we all work together on it. it. We're a very small team. That thing is on a free server. You guys overloaded it. So uh, that's why it was having a hard time keeping up with you guys tonight. So thank you so much for breaking our game. We really do appreciate that. <laughs> We will figure it out. We'll keep working on it and make it better every single week. So thank you guys so much for doing that. We didn't realize how much energy people had farmed. They'd farmed a lot of energy. That's awesome. We're going to have a talk about that. Yeah. Join us <laughs> by the fire. Thank you so much, Polly, Andre, Megan, Peter, Christina. I love you guys. Do we have a winner? Yeah. What do we got? Dan S'more Frostmore. No. Antoine Frostmore. Antoine Frostmore. D D D Antoine? 
the Antoine Cross. Congratulations! You just won an Ultra Box! That's right. Yay. They're so useful! Damn wrong! Download Legacy Wars, <laughs> join the Alliance, and, and kick some butt! And then on Friday, join us at 3 p.m. PT to challenge Peter. See, see how you hold your own against that guy. Thank you, Legacy Wars. Thank you, Legacy Wars. Wars. All right. Are we done? Thank you so much. I'm doing like careful, the. Careful.